American Comics, Opening Sign in Accelerator, Synopsis, Traveling Through the Marvel Universe, Levi's became a member of the Mutant Academy, activating the sign-in system, just sign up to get stronger, sign into Mutant Academy to get vector manipulation, sign into Claris and get space to move, sign into Polaris and gain electromagnetic control, sign into Professor X to gain mind control, sign in to get the Phoenix Force, dot, Magneto, this kid's electromagnetic force is stronger than mine, I recognize this son-in-law, Apocalypse, I didn't expect that my super ability is not as many as this kid, and the title of the strongest mutant is given to you, Loki, I'm a god, but weak like a mortal before Levi's, Thanos, wait for my fingers, Levi's, don't hit me, I already control everything in the universe, and it's no use snapping your fingers, dot, chapter 1 sign in successfully, get vector operation, Marvel world, in mutant college, Levi's has a fever, the heat filled his body, and his whole body was wet with sweat, as if there was something heavy on him, making him a little breathless, this drowsy feeling made him very uncomfortable, the atmosphere in the house was a little dignified, wearing a black suit and sitting in the wheelchair, Professor X touched Levi's hot forehead and could not help frowning, Professor, should he be in the awakenings gene, behind him, Cyclops with special red eyes asked curiously, Professor X nodded slowly and said, yes, he can block my telepathy so that I can't invade his brain, you can't even teach your ability, Cyclops and Storm behind him were a little surprised, no, Professor X shook his head, with a hint of anticipation in his eyes, this child's ability is very special, and the potential is huge, and it may even surpass that of me and Eric, Cyclops and Storm breathed a sigh of relief when they heard the words, and they both looked at each other and could see the shock in each other's eyes, Professor, you mean this kid could be a level 5 mutant, Storm asked in shock, I think so, Professor X nodded, if he can grow up smoothly, he may be able to lead mutant to glory and fulfill Eric's long cherished wish, Professor X and Magneto have always been committed to making mutant appear in the A's of ordinary people. To this end, Professor X's approach is more gentle. He opened the mutant school, which specializes in teaching mutants to control their own abilities. Magneto's approach is more radical. He formed the mutant brotherhood, intending to use force to silence the humans who oppose mutant. But in any case, both of them are thinking about mutant's future. Cyclops and Storm were even more shocked when they heard this. Neither of them expected that Professor X would rate the Chinese boy in front of him so highly. And at the moment, in Levi's mind, a progress bar kept reading 10%. 11.12%. Levi's is a traveler who has been in this dangerous Marvel world for half a year. He was about to live on the streets, but he was brought back by Professor X and told that he was a mutant. Levi's was stunned when he heard the news but he soon accepted the new identity, it's better to be a mutant than to be a normal person, if you can awakening a super ability that defies the sky, then you can also have some self-preservation in this dangerous marvel world, but half a year later, Levi's showed no sign of awakening super ability at all, which almost made him doubt whether he had super ability, however, today, what he didn't expect is that super ability does not have awakening, but he has waited for his gold finger, ding, the god level sign in system is fully charged, and it is binding with the host, ding, system binding is successful, Levi's was overjoyed when he heard the prompt in his head, sure enough, as a traverser, there is nothing else, but the system will arrive late, system, let's talk about your role, Levi's urgently needs to know the role of his gold finger, ding, the god level sign in system allows the host to sign in once a day, if you sign in at a special location, you will get special rewards, you will also get special rewards for characters who sign in, but there will be a failure rate. The number of final sign-ins cannot be superimposed. After listening to the introduction of the system, Levi's came up with three functions of the system after thinking. First, no matter where you are, you can sign in once a day. If you don't sign in, the number of sign-ins will not be accumulated. Second, there will be special rewards for signing in at special locations, and it is not known how special it is. Third, you can sign in on other characters, which can also get special rewards but there is a chance of failure, Levi's suddenly remembered that this was Mutant Academy, so it should be considered a special place, I don't know if I can sign in here, can I get something good, system, sign in, Levi's ordered the system without hesitation, ding, congratulations to the host who successfully signed in for the first time and obtained the super ability vector operation, it turned out to be a vector operation, Levi's eyes widened when he saw the sign in item, he is no stranger to the super ability of vector manipulation, that is the only seven super ability users in Academy City, ranking first, codenamed Accelerator's super ability, vector operation can control the direction of energy, as long as it touches the skin, it can freely manipulate the direction of all energy such as kinetic energy, thermal energy, and electrical energy, and can reflect all physical attacks, this can be an extremely perverted ability, system, how do I use this super ability, Levi's can't wait to have this super ability, with this super ability, at least in the Marvel world, there are some self-protection abilities, ding, 
Does the host integrate superability vector operations? Yes, Levi's chose integrate without hesitation. Ding. The system prompts that the first time integrate superability will have adverse reactions. Please don't worry about it. After hearing this sentence, Levi's only felt dizzy for a while, and then passed out. If he was still conscious, he would definitely scold the system and give him some reaction time anyway. And with his fainting being discovered by others, this is the beginning of the scene. Chapter 2 Professor Rex's Surprise the next day, Hartilda Levi's yawned and sat up from the bed. He stretched out, rubbed his sullen eyes, and then came back to his senses after being stunned for a while. By the way, what about my vector operations? Levi suddenly recalled the matter of getting Goldfinger yesterday, and when he thought about it, he suddenly felt that the whole world in front of him was different. He found that his eyesight was much better than before, and there were flowing lines on the table, walls or ceiling in front of him, which was very magical. Closing his eyes, he could even feel the flowing lines in the air and even the sunlight had flowing lines. Whenever these lines touch themselves, they are redirected. Is this a vector operation? Levi's was a little surprised. Vector manipulation is the ability to arbitrarily manipulate the direction of all vectors that are touched by the surface of the body, such as momentum, light, and electromagnetic fields. The reflection and contact with one's own matter is only the most basic function. It will reflect some harmful or harmless substances unconsciously, such as ultraviolet light, nitrogen oxides and sulfur oxides etc. But if all the UV rays are reflected, the body will be depigmented and the skin and hair will turn white. It can even lead to an imbalance of its own hormones, resulting in a neither male nor female body shape. This is not what Levi's wants. And it's easy to change this subconscious reflex. Just consciously enumerate the substances that need to be reflected. Levi's vector operations don't require computational power, it's more of an instinct, and you just need to think about it. Immediately afterwards, he came to the wall and poked his fingers lightly against the flowing lines on the wall. A magical scene happened. I saw that his fingers seemed to be poking on the tofu, and he easily poked a hole in the wall. This is a simple use of vector manipulation. You can easily destroy the wall by changing the direction of the flowing lines on the wall. It's amazing. Levi's marveled at his masterpiece. Just as he was about to continue poking a few holes in the wall, the door was opened. Storm pushed Professor X in a wheelchair, and behind him was Cyclops. Son, how do you feel about your body? Professor X came to Levi's and asked with concern. Levi's has great respect for the old man who took in him when he was homeless. He smiled cheerfully and shook his head. Professor, I'm fine now. That's good. Professor X nodded with a smile, and then said, Then can you show your ability? Levi's had long known that Professor X and the others would ask this question. He nodded, and then stuck his finger at the wall again. The wall was still easily poke hole. This is. Storm and Cyclops looked at his behavior with some doubts. What does it mean to just poke a hole in the wall? Levi's explained with a slight smile, I call my ability reflex, which can reflect objects that touch the body. Reflection? Storm and Cyclops looked at each other. The word was too broad. For example, physical reflection. If you can reflect all physical attacks, you will be invincible in the face of any physical attack. If it can also reflect energy, such as fire, wind and lightning, etc., then it is even more powerful. So just hearing the word reflection is not easy to judge his ability. That's right. Levi's nodded not intending to reveal any more ability information. After all, the ability of vector manipulation is too perverted. How could Professor X and the others not know the meaning of vector manipulation? Besides, he just did awakening super ability just now, so it's normal not to know. Sure enough, after the three or Professor X got such an answer, they didn't pursue it any further. Then child, have you felt any side effects of using ability? Professor X continued to ask with a kind expression. Be aware that not all mutants can perfectly control their super ability like Professor X and Magneto. Most mutants use super ability with side effects. For example, Cyclops has the ability to fire red lasers from the eyes, but this ability cannot be turned off. If he didn't wear special glasses, I'm afraid he wouldn't even open his eyes, because opening his eyes would keep him in a state of releasing energy all the time. Ah! Uh, no side effects have been found for the time being. Levi's shook his head. In fact, he was not sure whether he was a mutant. After all, his super ability was given by the system. Professor X nodded when he heard the words, but he was not too optimistic. Levi's had predicted that he would become a level 5 mutant. If there were no side effects, it would be very meaningful. Son, you should follow Olo to test the super ability first. After that, I will make a special training plan for you, so that you can quickly master the super ability. After awakening super ability, mutant generally does not know much about his ability, and needs to constantly explore to use it correctly. And it also requires continuous training to make the super ability more powerful. So it is very necessary to test the super ability strength. In fact, even Levi's himself does not know what level his vector operation belongs to. So he looked at the system panel. Host, Levi's, super ability, vector operation, super ability level, LV.3, level 3 mutant, experience value, 1000.
Chapter 3 The Provocation from John the Burning Man The system panel is simple and easy to understand. Levi's super ability level is now LV.3, which is equivalent to the third level mutant. As for the experience bar below, it should be the experience value required for upgrade LV.4. That is to say, he only needs 1000 experience points to upgrade to LV4. It made him very excited. Come with me. Then Storm smiled and turned his head for him to follow. Oh. Good teacher Olo. Levi's trotted after him. Watching the two leave, Cyclops looked at Professor X and asked, Professor, what do you think of his ability? Professor X nodded with a smile, yeah, his potential is indeed very powerful, and his ability is not just a simple reflection as he said, maybe even he himself is not very clear. When mutant first awakening ability, it is understandable that there is some deviation in his own ability cognition. Professor X opened the Mutant Academy in order to teach these mutants to control their own abilities. Cyclops did not speak. The other side. By the way, Teacher Rolo, how do I need to test super ability? On the way to test the super ability, Levi's couldn't help looking at Storm curiously and asked, I need to check your body and ability reflection strength, etc., and then I will ask Kin to help you. Storm explained simply with a smile. Levi's nodded. It was at this time. Vice, you are awake. Vice, are you alright? Vice, have you awakening super ability? Dot. After seeing Levi's, several girls on the way ran over and cared very enthusiastically. Thank you for your concern. Levi's greeted them with a smile. In the half year he came to Mutant Academy, with his handsome appearance, he also won the love of many girls. It is said that the best beauties know no borders, that is to say, the top beauties, no matter which country they are from, will have a unified aesthetic. The same goes for handsome guys. And Levi's handsomeness belongs to the kind that knows no borders, with a high nose, thin lips, handsome profile and perfect facial contours. The height of 1.82 meters looks very tall, but it does not appear as rude as Westerners. Perhaps because of Awakening's super ability, the body that originally looked thin has also become stronger. It can be seen from the muscles on his arms that he belongs to the type of undressed and fleshy. It's no wonder that the female students at the academy are so enthusiastic about him. However, this also made Levi's hostile to other mutants, and he also suffered a lot of bullying during the half year he came to mutant school. Fortunately, every time someone made a rescue for him, so the past six months have been pretty good. Okay, everyone, let's go to class first, I'm going to take was to test ability. Storm looked at everyone and smiled. Sure enough, I knew that Vice, you will definitely have awakening super ability. I don't know what your super ability is, Vice, it must be very powerful. Teacher Rolo, can't we really go with us? Dot. When a few little girls heard that Levi's was going to take the test, they immediately guessed that he had awakening ability. After all, the fact that he had a fever and was in a coma was almost known to everyone. Not this time. His ability must be kept secret. Storm folded his arms and shook his head. A few little girls were a little sorry to see this. Levi's smiled and said nothing. It seems that Professor X is still very fancy about his ability. At this moment, several boys on the other side came over, and the man in charge was John the Burning Man. It's a bit surprising that you have awakening super ability too. John came up to Levi's and looked at him arrogantly. In the mutant school, John's strength is also among the best, and he is also the most despised person like Levi's who does not have the super ability of awakening. Levi's didn't like this guy very much. He turned to Storm and said, Mr. Olo, let's go. And many more. Seeing that he was ignoring him, John grabbed his shoulder in annoyance. However, just as John's hand touched Levi's shoulder, a huge force suddenly came from his hand, and he suddenly screamed and retracted his hand like an electric shock. This scene shocked everyone. What's the matter with you, John? Storm asked, frowning. Ah dot 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 my hand dot 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 my hand. John screamed, with arms crossed. When everyone saw it, they saw that John's hand had turned upside down obviously broken. What the hell happened? Storm looked puzzled. That. I'm sorry, Mr. Aurora, it was my ability that I couldn't control and accidentally hurt John. Levi's raised his hand and said as if he was wrong. Hearing him say that, several boys and girls were a little confused, so John just patted Levi's on the shoulder just now. I didn't see him make a move. Why would Levi's say he did it himself? And Storm remembered at this time, Levi's ability is reflection. John patted him on the shoulder just now thinking that it was the reflex ability that was triggered. Thinking that Levi's awakening super ability was indeed uncontrollable, Storm didn't blame him. Yugi sent John to Jin for treatment first. His hand won't be cured if it's too late, Storm said to the other boys. A few boys heard the words and immediately supported John and left. With the medical methods in Mutant Academy, there is no problem in treating this kind of injury. Dot. Chapter 4 Testing, Level 3 Mutant. Okay, let's go. After dealing with these things, Storm waved Levi's to leave. Levi's smiled at the ladies and followed. After the two of them left, 
The girls chatted more vigorously. Visibility is so powerful that it hurts John all at once. That's right. I didn't even see how it was done. I see Vice can easily beat John with one hand. I didn't expect that Vice would easily defeat John with the awakening super ability just now. It's amazing. Dot. Several girls chatted vigorously, and then more and more people joined in after hearing the news. In just a moment, the entire Mutant Academy knew that Levi's had defeated John the Burning Man. And it's getting more and more outrageous. In the end, under the spread of a certain girl, Levi's awakening ability just used a finger to defeat the burning man John! At the same time, on the other side, Levi's followed Storm to a spacious laboratory. There are various test instruments in the laboratory, which are specially used to test mutant ability. Storm first tested his physical fitness and found that his physical fitness was better than the average student. Later, Lakin was called, and he was going to start taking blood tests for him. However, an embarrassing scene happened. The needle could not be inserted. Levi's, relax now and try to turn off your ability. While guiding gently, Ken changed a needle. Teacher I know, but I can't turn off this ability. Levi's said helplessly. Alas. Then there is no way. Jin looked at Storm helplessly. Then let's take a blood test another day, and test ability first. Storm decided to skip the blood test for now. Seeing this, the corners of Levi's mouth rose slightly. The blood test is very dangerous. Who knows if the secret of your super ability will be discovered. You might even be able to create a daughter for you through your genes, like Wolverine. He didn't want his ability to be studied, so he deliberately said that ability could not be closed. The maximum value of the reflex is tested below, starting with a force of 100 kilograms. Storm made Levi's stand in a laboratory, and soon a large iron ball smashed over. The force of the big iron ball was about 100 kilograms. However, Levi's didn't even look and even yawned. When the big iron ball hit him, it was bounced off instantly. A mere 100 kilograms is like a tickling for his vector manipulation. Theoretically, there is no upper limit to the reflection of vector manipulation. Definitely, this is without considering the amount of computation. Today, although he does not need calculation, he has the upper limit of ability. He also wanted to know where the upper limit of vector manipulation for LV3 was. Then Storm tested 200 kilograms and 300 kilograms respectively, and kept adding up. Still, Levi's thought it was too slow. Teacher Olo, I don't think you need to be so troublesome, just give me a ton of it. Storm was taken aback for a moment. You sure? Definitely sure. So far 500 kilograms is just tickling me. Levi's nodded with a calm look. Um. Well then, seeing how relaxed he was, Storm agreed after thinking about it. Then the big iron ball slammed into him with a one-ton force. Levi's stretched out his palm with one hand, and the next moment, the menacing big iron ball was bounced back again. It's still too light, Mr. Olo. Let's go straight to five tons. Five tons directly? Storm was startled, but did so anyway. Immediately after that, five tons, ten tons, and twenty tons were all tested. Until the time of one hundred tons, Levi's still had no pressure. Obviously, his vector manipulation is definitely more than that. But there is no more strength test in the laboratory. This result also shocked Storm. Unexpectedly, Levi's initial awakening super ability is so powerful. Okay. Let's test the reflection on other abilities next. Storm waved Levi's to another lab. Fire and electricity tests were then carried out, which could reflect objects, but not necessarily energy. However Storm and Jean were wrong. Even the energy Levi's was able to reflect easily. After some tests, Storm was stunned by the data tested in his hands. According to speculation, Levi's can reflect the impact force of objects of more than 1,000 tons, and can also reflect energy such as electricity, flames, and storms. In the end, Storm initially gave him a three-level mutant evaluation. The specific real data is left for the next test, because this test is completely unprepared. Definitely, don't underestimate the third-level mutants. You must know that most of the mutants are second-level or first-level mutants. Level 3 mutants are few and far between. Don't you see there are only a handful of third-level mutants in the entire mutant academy? And level 4 mutants are even fewer. Levi still agrees with this evaluation. Definitely, he is absolutely invincible among the third-level mutants. Even a level 4 mutant isn't necessarily a match for him, like Professor X's mind manipulation is useless against him. After the test, Storm let Levi's go. And she and Kin hurriedly handed over the data just tested to Professor X. Dot. Chapter 5 Sign into Claris, Get Space to Move. Wait until Professor X has read the test data. Cyclops on the side asked curiously. Professor, how is it? It's only a third-level mutant. But for the awakening ability just now, it's really good. His ability has yet to grow. Professor X said slowly after looking at the test data. And the ability is controllable, with no obvious side effects. Storm added. Yeah, ability is controllable. These few words are simply the best news for Professor X. After all, if there was another uncontrollable mutant like Siankin, Professor X would really feel a little overwhelmed. At the moment, Professor X is very fortunate that he found Levi's first. 
otherwise it would be troublesome if Magneto recruited him. Then dot 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 Professor, do you want Levi's to join the X-Men? Cyclops asked again. Professor X thought for a while and said, well, it's a matter of time, but for now, let's investigate for a while. Dot. On the other hand, Levi's wandered around the campus a little bored after leaving Storm's lab. He kept looking at the playground, as if looking for something. At this moment, on a stone bench under the shade of a tree not far away, a girl with purple hair and green pupils whispered to him, It's Clarice. Levi's eyes lit up when he saw the girl, and then walked over. This world is a bit different from the X-Men world he knows, more like the world that integrates multiple timelines. Just as 17 or 18 year old Clarice would be here, Magneto's daughter Polaris is said to be somewhere, but has never had the chance to see it. How is Clarice? Are you still used to it after coming to mutant school? Well, I also made a lot of friends here. Especially, at the end Clarice's voice was so low that he couldn't hear it clearly. Clarice suddenly came to Mutant College a week ago. At that time, in order to escape the capture of the Mutant Research Society, she used superpower, but happened to be teleported to the Mutant Academy. After more than a week, this timid and cowardly girl has also changed a lot. After all, Mutant Academy is much safer than the previous escape life. Levi's chatted with Clarice one after another while using the system to check in Clarice. Did the host check in with Mutant Clarice? Sign me in. Levi's ordered without hesitation. Ding. The sign-in is successful. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the super ability space movement and 100 experience points. It's actually a space move. Levi's was overjoyed. He didn't expect to be so lucky to sign in the super ability of space mobility. Spatial movement allows users to move to the place they can see, and can teleport wherever they have been. It is simply a necessary magic skill to kill and escape. However, his current super ability level is only level 3, and the distance and range of using space to move are also limited. He looked at his system panel, host, Levi's, super ability, vector operation, space movement, super ability level, LV.3, level 3 mutant, experience value. 1100 100 experience points are obtained by successfully signing in once, which means that he only needs to sign in 10 times, then he can become LV4, which is the 4th level mutant. It made him very excited. What are you thinking about, Vice? Clarice asked suspiciously when she saw his happy face. Cough I just think of happy things. A happy thing? That's a good afternoon to spend with Clarice. Levi's chuckled. This made Clarice bow her head a little embarrassed, but she was also a little happy. Vice. At this time, another girl came over. Hi. Mary. Levi smiled and greeted the little naughty who came over. The little naughty glanced at Clarice on the side, hesitation and sat down on the other side of him. I heard you awakening super ability and defeated John with just one finger. Ah. Uh, a finger? Levi's is a little confused. He doesn't know that the mutant academy has spread about his defeat of John the Burning Man, isn't it? The little naughty was also a little puzzled. Levi's shrugged helplessly. Actually, I didn't do it. John was just hurt by my ability. What? Are your fingers useless? It's amazing. The little naughty was amazed after hearing this. This understanding of ability is also against the sky. But then again, it is true. He did not even use his fingers. It's nothing, because my ability can't be perfectly controlled for the time being, so I accidentally hurt him. Levi's explained. Can't control it? Is it a side effect? For some reason, when she heard the words uncontrollable, little naughty was a little overjoyed, because her ability was also uncontrollable. It seems that the two are somewhat similar. Don't worry, as long as you work hard, you will be able to control your ability. Levi smiled and waved his hand. His ability was originally perfectly controllable, and being uncontrollable was nothing but fooling others. The little naughty became thoughtful when he heard his words. Vice, do you think my ability can also be controlled through cultivation? Well, it's definitely possible, Levi said without hesitation. I remember that there is a version of the little naughty who can really control her ability. I think she will be successful as long as she works hard. The little naughty seemed to be more infected by his words. She nodded and said, yeah, I will definitely work hard. Dot. Chapter 6 Iceman Poppy's Provocation By the way, what is your ability? Vice, Little Naughty asked curiously. Clarice on the side also looked at him curiously with her big green eyes. Well dot 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 I call it a reflection. Levi's didn't hide anything. It doesn't matter what the name of the ability tells others, because sooner or later people will find out, unless you don't use ability. Reflection? Hearing this word, Little Naughty and Clarice were a little puzzled, like this. Levi's said and stretched out his hand, only to see a leaf fall from the sky. The moment it touched the palm, the leaves were bounced off. So that's the case. If you think John will get hurt, he must have done it first. This guy is really hateful, the little naughty said with a look of righteous indignation. Levi smiled and said nothing. He was a little curious. He had signed up for space movement on Claris just now, and he didn't know what abilities could be signed on little naughty. However, the number of sign-ins for today has been used up, and we can only wait for tomorrow. Dot. The next day, because of the attention of Professor Rex, Levi's moved to a separate dormitory. Finally, 
He didn't have to squeeze in a room with other boys, which made him sleep very comfortable last night. Arriving in the classroom early in the morning, Levi sat down beside the little naughty. He had been thinking about signing on the little naughty yesterday. Morning Mary, morning. The little naughty returned a bright smile. Little naughty has just come to Mutant Academy, because her ability is so terrible that anyone who touches her skin will be drained of energy, so almost no one wants to approach her. Levi's is one of her few friends since she came to Mutant College. The two talked and laughed, but Clarice, who was sitting in the corner, looked a little sad. Shadow Cat Katie, who was sitting beside her, smiled comfortingly, if you like it, go there. Otherwise, a handsome and handsome boy like will be taken away sooner or later. Clarice felt a little embarrassed when she was told what she was thinking. She has always been timid and timid, and she was really not good at expressing. If you don't go, then I'll go. Katie laughed. Clarice thought she was joking, but Katie got up and walked over. Seeing this, Clarice gritted her teeth and followed. Vice, what are you talking about, little naughty? Katie pushed Clarice down beside Levi's, then sat down herself. Just a casual chat. Levi's smiled and shook his head. The other students in the classroom were very envious and jealous when they saw that he was surrounded by beautiful women again. But after hearing that John the Burning Man was easily defeated by him yesterday, no one dared to come up and ask for trouble but there are exceptions to everything. Although Poppy Iceman has always had a bad relationship with Fireman. The two are like water and fire. But the relationship between the two is actually pretty good. Hearing that John Pyro was easily defeated yesterday, Iceman felt that he was being challenged. In his eyes, only he could defeat John Pyro. So Burning Man came to the classroom with a few younger brothers and walked towards Levi's aggressively. At the moment, Levi's was just about to sign in for the little naughty, but he didn't expect to be interrupted by the arrival of the Burning Man. I heard that you beat John with just one finger. It's impossible. That guy must be careless. Poppy directly provocatively said without any nonsense. If you have the guts, fight with me and let everyone know that I am Iceman is the best. Seeing Iceman's Bobby being so provocative, Levi's didn't speak when the little naughty beside him stood up. Poppy, the school doesn't allow private fights. Do you want to be punished by Teacher Rollo? That's right. John was the one who got hurt yesterday because of the provocation first. Katie also stood up to speak for Levi's. Iceman was even more angry when he saw this who didn't know that Poppy Iceman was interested in the little naughty who just came to the academy, and now the little naughty actually helps others to speak. Levi's, do you dare to fight with me? If you don't, just admit defeat and call yourself a coward. If you do this again, Bobby, I'm going to tell Teacher Rolo. The little naughty said that he was about to leave the classroom to find Storm, but he was stopped by Levi's reaching out his hand. Since you want to be beaten so much, then I'll do it for you. But, hearing him say that, little naughty was a little worried. Don't worry. It won't take long to solve him. Time will be enough before the teacher arrives. Levi's waved his hand lightly. Humphrey, then let's go outside and fight. Iceman snorted and walked outside. Levi's followed. The other students in the classroom also joined in the fun and followed behind them. A group of people came to the playground where they usually train super ability. Iceman was about to say something, but was interrupted by Levi's. Stop talking nonsense. Let's do it now. Humphrey, Iceman held back what he wanted to say. He stretched out his palms without talking nonsense and then an ice mist sprayed out from his palms. The icy fog froze a layer of solid ice instantly after it touched the ground. Iceman's ability is to make ice out of thin air, and the ability to turn air into ice is definitely a level 5 mutant potential. However, Iceman is too weak, and can only play the second level mutant strength at present. Even in its heyday, it is only a third level mutant. Dot. Chapter 7 Sign into Iceman, Freeze Mastery. This kind of strength is nothing in front of Levi's, and he was shrouded in ice fog without even dodging. Ha ha, I'm going to freeze you into an ice sculpture. Iceman saw that Levi's was enveloped in the ice fog and immediately increased his output, and another icy fog enveloped Levi's, and the whiteness was almost invisible. The little naughty and Clarice on the side were very worried. However, at this moment, the ice fog around Levi's suddenly disappeared as if it had been blown away by the wind. How is that possible? Iceman's eyes widened in disbelief that his icy mist had suddenly been blown away. There's nothing impossible, just your level of ice can only cool me down. Levi's walked over with a light smile. Vector manipulation can easily reflect these ice fog, or manipulate the air to blow away the ice fog, so this level of ice is not any threat to him at all. Do not come. The ability he was proud of was completely useless. Iceman was a little panicked and a large amount of ice mist was sprayed out of his hands again. However, this was of no use to Levi's. He put his hands in his pockets and walked through the ice fog calmly to Iceman, and then put a finger on Iceman's chest. Boom. Artilda. Iceman only felt a huge amount of power suddenly coming from his chest, and the next moment he screamed and flew upside down. The students around were shocked. They thought that the rumor that Levi's defeated John the Burning Man with one finger was bragging. Didn't expect it to be true. Nothing beats Iceman really easily with one finger. The teacher is here. At this time, someone in the crowd shouted, and sure enough, Storm walked over quickly. She looked at Levi's and then at Iceman. 
who was wailing on the ground, and frowned. Why are you fighting? Levi's shrugged and didn't explain anything. On the other hand, Naughty and Katie began to explain. After listening to the explanation of the two, Storm also understood the cause and effect. It turned out that Ice Man took the lead in provocation. Yugi's take Poppy to the treatment first, Storm said to the boys beside him. After hearing the words, a few boys supported Ice Man and were about to leave. At this time, Levi's looked slightly, wondering what he would get by signing in on Ice Man. Thinking of this, he decided to sign on Ice Man. Did the host check in with mutant Ice Man Poppy? Yes, ding. The sign in is successful. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the super ability Frozen Control with 100 experience points. It turned out to be Frozen Control. Seeing this super ability, Levi's was very happy, because his freezing control is a super ability stronger than Ice Man's ice making. He can make ice out of thin air, and he can freeze objects instantly. Any object will be frozen under absolute zero, even space and time. Therefore, the upper limit of this ability is no less than that of vector operations. Then he glanced at the system panel, host, Levi's, super ability. Vector operation, space movement, freezing control, super ability level, LV.3, level 3 mutant, experience value, 1200. This time, you will get 100 experience points for signing in again, which means that you only need to sign in 8 times to become a level 4 mutant. Thinking of this, Levi's is in a good mood. At this time, Storm turned his eyes to him and said with a headache, although Iceman initiated the incident first, you shouldn't be so heavy and I'll punish you for cleaning the fallen leaves on the playground. Mutant school rules that private fights are not allowed. No matter what, both of them made mistakes, and it is understandable that they will be punished. No problem. Levi's, who was in a good mood, accepted the punishment without hesitation. Let's help you. At this time, little naughty, Katie and Clarice took the initiative to stay and help. Originally, this matter had something to do with them. Levi's definitely did not refuse, and they cleaned it up in a short while. Back in the classroom. The eyes of everyone looking at him suddenly changed. If it was said that he defeated John the Burning Man before, everyone thought it was luck or rumors. However, after seeing Levi's beat Iceman with just one finger, everyone had to admit his strength. For a time, everyone was a little afraid of him. In Professor X's office, when Storm reported the incident to Professor X, everyone's expressions were different. I didn't expect Levi's to hurt two students in a row just after he obtained ability, this. Cyclops frowned. However, before he could finish speaking, he was interrupted by the piano beside him. It's not his fault for this. Poppy and John provoked it first. Seeing that his girlfriend had spoken, Cyclops naturally had nothing to say. Professor, what do you think? Storm looked at Professor X and asked. It's okay, I can see that the child has a very calm personality and won't do anything out of the ordinary. Professor X smiled. Indeed, that kid has been very low-key since he came to the academy. Storm nodded. Then let's end this matter. Professor X didn't take this matter to heart at all. It was nothing more than sparring among the children which was not uncommon at Mutant Academy. Everyone has super ability, and it is excusable to accidentally hurt each other. At the same time, in the ward, John was stunned when he saw Iceman being brought in and lying on the bed beside him. After some inquiries, I realized that it was Levi's who taught me a lesson. Damn, isn't this kid a sneak attack? When I get better, I must teach him a lesson. John gritted his teeth. He never admitted that he lost to Levi's, just thought he was attacked. Iceman at the moment was down and didn't have time to pay attention to him. Dot. Chapter 8 Burning Man John's Provocation Again The next day, Levi's came to the classroom as usual. Teachers often talk a little bit about ability control. Definitely, sometimes there are no classes. Just like Storm or other teachers didn't come today, the students can only move freely. Levi's goal today is to sign in on Naughty or Shadowcat, and he's looking forward to what ability he will sign in. However, after looking around in the classroom, they couldn't find the two of them. After asking Clarice, I found out that it was John the Burning Man who called the little Naughty away and Shadowcat went with him. Levi's frowned, not knowing what John was going to do. Where did they go? It's the grove of the playground. Clarice pointed in the direction of the grove. Levi's looked in the direction of the playground and left the classroom without saying a word. Clarice followed suit. Soon the two came to the grove. Sure enough, all three are here. I saw John looking a little excited and talking to the little naughty. Mary, believe me, I like you. Don't be with that Levi. He's just a villain who knows sneak attacks from behind. Hearing this, the little naughty was suddenly a little angry. John. Shut up for me, it's obviously you who provoked first and then got taught, and I won't like you. John, I hope you take back what you just said. Ms. can't sneak up on you. He only needs one finger to defeat you. Shadow Cat on the side couldn't help shaking his head. The Burning Man was a little angry when he heard this. That Levi's is just awakening super ability. If it wasn't for his sneak attack, how could I be injured? At the moment, the Burning Man has been completely swept away by anger, and he didn't want to be hurt by the reflection when he had to pat Levi's on the shoulder. Yes, Levi's who had just come over, sneered and shook his head. In fact, he didn't quite understand why so many people liked Naughty, 
both Burning and Iceman. Don't they know that Naughty's ability is energy absorbing? Once in contact with her skin, it will be energy absorbing, and there is a risk of being sucked dry, but not everyone is as tenacious as Wolverine. What's the use of them being naughty in this situation? It is true that the little naughty does have some good looks. From his oriental perspective, it is not bad, but what is the use of only seeing and not touching? Might as well choose the exotic Clarice. Vice, little naughty and Shadow Cat were a little happy to see him come over. Levi's just fight with me if you want. If you lose, stay away from Mary. How dare you? The burning man glared at him. Why not? But what if you lose? Levi's folded his arms and laughed. If I lose. I'll. If you lose, how about calling the boss when you see me? Levi's suggested. The burning man gritted his teeth and agreed. Okay, if I lose, I'll accept you as the boss. Then come with me. Levi's turned around and left. In this battle, I still need to talk to teachers like Storm or Jean and the others. If you fight in private, you may be punished again. Then the group went to Storm's office together, and other students in the school didn't know when to know about it. Hey, did you hear that John is going to have a fight with Levi's? What? That kid John dares to fight Levi's. Ha ha. I think John will be repaired badly, after all, even Poppy was beaten by Levi's with one finger. Let's go and see the excitement, we won't be able to see it later. Dot. The students, who were already very bored, came to watch the fun after learning about this. At the same time, in Storm's office. You said you were going to fight? Storm only felt a little headache after hearing what the two of them said. That's right, Mr. Olo, we're just learning from each other. Levi's laughed. Well, well, you wait for me first. Storm didn't stop after thinking about it but she still reported to Professor Rex. After Professor Rex understood this, he immediately agreed. Let's go, the professor has agreed to this matter, you come with me. After Storm finished speaking, he brought everyone to a training room. At this time, many students were already following, and Storm ignored them. Okay, your battle is here, but remember to click until the end, especially when he said this. Storm's eyes were focused on Levi's. After testing, she knew that Levi's ability was completely immune to fire and water, and John's fire control ability was no threat to him at all. Don't worry, Mr. Olo. Levi smiled and nodded to show his understanding. The burning man on the other side, John, had a stinky face. Storm said that he didn't like him at all. It was no wonder he had a good face. Come on, Vice. Naughty and Shadowcat and Clarice cheered her on. Many onlookers were also looking forward to this battle. Soon the battle began at Storm's behest. I saw John take out a lighter from his trouser pocket, spin it around in his hand like a cool guy, and then set it on fire, immediately under his control. The small flame instantly expanded into huge amounts of fireballs and burned over. Dot. Chapter 9 Sign into Burning Man The Power of Flame Control Facing the overwhelming flames, Levi's still looked lazy with his hands in his pockets, without any intention of dodging. When the students onlookers saw this, they exclaimed and exclaimed. Those who didn't know it thought that Levi's was frightened. However, students who have seen Levi's and Iceman fight know that such flames can't hurt Levi's at all, just like Iceman's ice fog. Seeing that Levi's didn't take him seriously, John immediately increased his firepower. In an instant, his entire being was enveloped in flames. If a flame continues to burn, it may burn out the surrounding oxygen. Although he could isolate the heat of the flame using victim manipulation, even he couldn't hold on without oxygen. However, if you want to use the flame to burn out the oxygen in an area, it is not something that the fireman can do. In an enclosed space may be okay, but in this open air environment, you want to burn oxygen in an area, unless it is the level of a hydrogen bomb explosion. Otherwise there will be a constant source of oxygen being replenished from other places. Seeing that Pyraman constantly unleashes flames, Levi's has no interest in continuing to play with him. He faced the flames and came to John's body, then put a finger on John's chest. Give it up. Your ability is useless to me. I do not believe. John angrily increased the flame output again. Don't blame me for that. Levi's shook his head and tapped his fingers on John's chest, using vector manipulation to change the force's release. The next moment, John only felt a huge force coming from his chest and then he screamed and his whole body was blown away. This scene shocked the onlookers, but it felt reasonable. After all, Iceman was defeated like this. Okay, the fight is over. How are you, John? Storm hurried forward to check John's injuries. John just clutched his chest and didn't speak. Don't worry, Mr. Olo, my power is well controlled, and he shouldn't be injured much. Levi's walked over with a smile, and used the sign in on John at the same time. Ding. Did the host check in with mutant burning man John? Yes. Levi's ordered in his heart. Ding. The sign in is successful. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the super ability fire control. With 100 experience points. Unexpectedly, he obtained the super ability of flame control. And unlike the fireman John, he can directly release flames. And as the level of mutant increases, the temperature of the flame will be higher and higher. Now his third level mutant has been able to master blue blue flames which can reach a maximum of 6,000 degrees Celsius and can easily melt steel, which is really scary. 
you must know that the most common orange-red flame has a maximum temperature of only 3000 degrees Celsius. The surface temperature of the sun is only 5500 degrees Celsius. Definitely, the core temperature of the sun is 20 million degrees Celsius which is 3,600 times that of the surface. It can be seen that the flame control obtained by Levi's is not at the same level as Burning Man at all. And as mutant's level increases, he believes that his flames can also reach the temperature of the core of the sun. At the same time, he also discovered one thing. It seems that the super ability obtained has something to do with the sign and target. For example, Clarice's ability is to create a portal, and sign in on her to gain space movement. On Iceman and Burning Man, the two super abilities, Freeze Mastery and Flame Mastery, were signed respectively. And so far his sign-in hasn't failed. Maybe it was his luck, Levi's guessed to himself. John saw him coming over with a look of dissatisfaction, but after a moment of hesitation he still gritted his teeth and called out, Boss. After the one who was willing to admit defeat gave a cry, he pushed Storm away from him and ran away. He has no face to stay here after losing the battle. Levi's, who was in a good mood, didn't care when he saw this. Seeing such a result, the students onlookers were shocked by his powerful strength. It's amazing. John's flames are completely useless to him. You haven't seen Levi's fight with Iceman. Iceman's ice is also useless to him. What is Levi's super ability? I don't know. The super ability of not being afraid of fire and ice is too powerful. Dot. There was a lot of discussion, some envy, some admire, and some doubt. Okay, go back to the classroom. Teacher Kin will teach you a lesson later. Seeing that the students had no intention of leaving, Storm immediately started chasing people. Back to the classroom. Levi's looked at his system panel. Host. Levi's super ability, vector operation, space movement, freezing control, fire control, super ability level, LV.3, level 3 mutant, experience value, 1300. This time, he got a new super ability and a younger brother, which made him feel good. And the experience value has also increased by 100. If there is no accident, if you sign in once a day, you can upgrade to LV4 within a week. The fourth level mutant is also considered a very powerful existence in this world. Huh? Clarice, you seem to be in a bad mood. Levi's, who was in a good mood, suddenly noticed that Clarice, who was at the same table, seemed to be in a bad mood. Ah. Is there any? Clarice froze for a moment. Definitely, it's all written on your face. If you have anything on your mind, you can tell me. Levi's laughed. Clarice was silent for a while, then whispered, I miss my friends. Friend? Her name is Lorna a friend of mine in the mutant underground. After a pause, Clarice continued, after I escaped from the mutant detention center, Lorna and the others mutant underground organization took me in, and then we were discovered by the Sentry Secret Service, and I was separated from them. Dot. After listening to her story, Levi's finally understood. There are at least hundreds of thousands of mutants in this world, and the three largest organizations of mutants are. X-Men created by Professor X. Magneto creates and leads the mutant brotherhood. There is also the Hellfire Club which has been run by mutant. In addition to this, there are a few separate underground mutant groups. It was one of the underground mutants who had rescued Clarice before, and isn't Lorna Magneto's daughter Polaris. After clarifying all this, Levi's found that this is somewhat similar to the plot of ability. It's just that Clarice accidentally opened the portal and came here. Dot. Chapter 10 Leaving the Academy and Signing into Little Naughty Clarice, do you want to go back and see? Levi's asked with a smile. Clarice nodded, yeah, but it shouldn't be allowed out here. If she simply went out, she would definitely be able to use ability to go out, but she finally found a place to stay, and she didn't want to be displaced. It's okay. Professor X is very talkative, but if you go back alone, I'm afraid it will be very dangerous. Clarice looked a little sad when she heard this. But it doesn't matter, I'll go with you. In fact, I also want to meet your friends. Levi's laughed. This is Miss Polaris, who doesn't want to meet, but doesn't know if Polaris has a partner now. This timeline really made him a little confused. Clarice was a little overjoyed when she heard his words. Do you really want to go with me? Definitely, you wait here, I'll talk to teacher Olo about this. Levi's said and left the classroom. When he came to Storm's office, he told Storm the whole thing just now. Storm frowned after hearing this. Levi's was very valued by Professor Rex if something happened to him when he left the academy at this time, it would be troublesome. Vice, listen, I have to tell the professor about this, you wait here first. Okay teacher Aurora. Levi's nodded in understanding. Storm then leaves the office to find Professor Rex. That's how it goes. Storm reported to Professor Rex what Levi's had said. Then let them go. Professor Rex said slowly after thinking for a while. But Professor, where they're going, the mutant management is very strict and I'm afraid it's dangerous. Storm frowned. It's okay, the kids really should be out and about, besides they're just going to see their friends. Professor Rex has his own considerations. After all, this academy is where mutants are protected, not where they are imprisoned. If it's not enough to just go out and see friends, I'm afraid these children will inevitably have other thoughts. And even if something happened, 
Professor X had the confidence to fish people out. I see, Storm nodded and said nothing. Back in the office. How is it, Teacher Rolo? Levi's asked, looking at Storm who came back. Storm sighed and nodded. Yeah, the professor has agreed. You can go back and see your friends, but you must remember to protect your own safety. Don't worry, Mr. Rolo. Levi's was a little happy, but also a little puzzled. Glad to be able to go out and see Miss Pilaris. What is puzzling is that Professor X let him go so easily. But no matter what, the matter is finally settled. After Storm's instructions, Levi's immediately returned to the classroom and told Clarice the news. Really? Professor X really agreed? Clarice was a little excited. Levi's nodded with a smile. Oh, yes, we can leave tomorrow when we're ready. Getting this answer, Clarice looked at him gratefully, and then slapped him in the face while he wasn't paying attention. Question mark. Levi's froze for a moment. He didn't expect Clarice to be so bold. Clarice didn't expect that she would be so impulsive, and she felt a little embarrassed. The next day, Levi's and Clarice were ready to salute early in the morning, and they also told Naughty and Shadow Cat about it. What did you say? You guys are leaving the academy? Little Naughty looked a little excited. Don't get excited. Don't worry, I'm just accompanying Clarice to visit her friend, and we'll be back in a few days. Levi's quickly comforted the excited little Naughty. So that's the case, I thought you guys were going to elope. Shadow Cat teased. The little Naughty looked at Clarice, then at Levi's, and then said, I want to go to this dot 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 I'm afraid I have to get the approval of Professor X, or you can talk to Teacher Aurora now. Levi suggested. Okay, wait, I'll go and ask Teacher Aurora now. No, I'm already here. The little naughty just wanted to go to Storm's office, but he didn't expect Storm to come. Mr. Olo, I also want to go with them. Little naughty hurriedly said. I'm afraid not. Storm shook his head. Why? Little naughty didn't believe it. Storm shook his head and said, it's something the professor decided and they just went to see their friends, and they'll be back soon. That's right, Mary. Don't worry, I'll take you out to play next time. Levi's nodded and smiled. Although the little naughty was a little unwilling to see this, there was nothing he could do. Okay, hurry up and go back. Storm also saw the little naughty's thoughts, but he didn't say anything more. Well, then Mary and Katie goodbye. Goodbye. Levi's and Clarice leave Mutant Academy after saying goodbye to Naughty and Shadowcat. Definitely. He didn't forget to sign in on Little Naughty before he left. Has the host checked into Mutants Little Naughty Mary? Sign in. Levi's ordered without hesitation. Ding. The sign in is successful. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the super ability energy absorption and 100 experience points. Chapter 11 Miss Polaris arrested. The sign in was successful again, and the super ability obtained this time was energy absorption. Levi's checked it and immediately understood the function of this super ability. Simply put. This super ability is an optimized version of the naughty super ability. It can absorb all the energy of the target, such as life energy, super ability, electrical energy or thermal energy, etc. And after absorbing the energy, it can be used for itself in a short time, and it can also heal its own injuries. The most important thing is that this ability is completely controllable, not passively closed like a little naughty. It can be said to be a very powerful super ability, and at critical moments, you can even temporarily improve your strength through energy absorbing. With one more whole card, Levi's was in a good mood along the way. Soon the two were on a plane to Mexico City, where Miss Polaris's underground organization of mutant was located. On the plane, with nothing to do, Levi's asks about Clarice's underground organization in mutant. After some understanding, Levi's had a general understanding of the mutant underground organization. At present, there are not many people in this mutant underground organization, only a dozen people. The leaders of the organization are Polaris and Thunderbird. It looks like this group is just developing. Levi's remembers Polaris being fostered by Magneto at his grandmother's house. Somehow, instead of going to Magneto's brotherhood, Polaris started a mutant organization himself. As for the members of the organization, most of them are known to him. For example, she can spit out pink mist to modify other people's memories. She is a good friend of Polaris. Another example is who can create illusions. There is also Marcos Diaz who originally relied on ability to sell drugs and later joined the organization, Polaris' boyfriend in the original book. However, it seems that he has only just joined. While chatting, Levi's suddenly looked at Clarice curiously and asked, Clarice doesn't know if you have a boyfriend in the organization? No. Hearing his question, Clarice shook her head hastily. That's it, ha ha. Levi's thought she was in such a hurry to go back because she wanted to see her boyfriend, but it turned out that he had misunderstood. Immediately afterwards, Levi's closed his eyes and planned to take a break. There were still several hours before Mexico City. Seeing him closed her eyes, Clarice couldn't help biting her teeth lightly, wanting to say something, but she was hesitant to say something, and finally closed her eyes with a helpless sigh. Speechless all the way. Until evening, they finally came to Mexico City. This is a bustling city, and Tony Stark's promotional poster can be seen on the huge billboard not far away. Speaking of which, 
Levi's has not heard any news about Iron Man so far, and I think the current Tony Stark hasn't become Iron Man yet. After eating something with Clarice, the two went to the location of the underground organization. This is an abandoned steel mill. As soon as they arrived here, the two of them were discovered. Who are you? At the moment it was already dark, and a man with a flashlight approached, and only then did he see clearly the appearance of the two of them. Clarice Fang? Yes, it's me. You are Harry. Clarice also happily called out the other party's name. Levi's also recognized the identity of the black man in front of him. This guy is called Harry, and his super ability is an enviable stealth ability. No wonder he didn't find this person just now. However, it is estimated that he can be invisible without using super ability at night! Exclamation mark. Clarice, you haven't been caught? Who is he? Harry looked at Levi's with some wariness. Don't worry, he's a mutant too. Clarice explained hastily, hearing that it was mutant. Harry's vigilance relaxed. Come with me. The two then followed Harry to the underground of the steel mill. Although it is underground, it seems to be well decorated inside. Let's see who's back. Black Harry took the two to the lounge area, where there are many mutant activities. It's Clarice. I didn't expect you to come back. What exactly is going on? Dot. Everyone was a little happy to see Clarice, but soon everyone became a little puzzled. Seeing this, Clarice began to tell the story of being discovered by the Sentry Secret Service, and after being separated from everyone, she used ability to teleport to Mutant Academy. After hearing this, everyone understood what happened to her. Huh? Why didn't you see Lorna? Did you go out? After searching for a long time, Clarice didn't see Lorna, and she was suddenly confused. Hearing this question, everyone involuntarily fell silent. This made Clarice have a bad feeling in her heart. Lorna was taken by Sentry Secret Service. The speaker is John Prosperity, codenamed Thunderbird, who is also one of the leaders of the mutant organization. How? Clarice couldn't believe it. Yes, that night. After we separated, Lorna was accidentally stunned by someone from Sentry's Secret Service, and I had no choice but to leave first. Thunderbird frowned and explained. Then why don't you go to the rescue? Levi's frowned. His words made everyone stunned for a while, and then everyone discovered the existence of Levi's. Who is Clarice? Thunderbird looked at Clarice suspiciously. Oh. I forgot to introduce it to everyone. He is Levi's, a friend I met at Mutant College and this time he has always protected me here. Clarice hurriedly introduced. Hello. Levi smiled and held out his hand. Thunderbird took his hand and said, Welcome. Thank you very much for helping Clarice. It's right that the mutants help each other. Levi said with a smile. This made Thunderbird have a lot of goodwill towards him. Dot. Chapter 12 Rescue the Polaris Project It's not that we don't want to rescue Lorna, it's that we don't know where Lorna is being held at all. Thunderbird answered Levi's question just now with a helpless expression but we can't do nothing all the time. Marcos on the side was a little excited, and it could be seen that he cared about Lorna very much. Thunderbird was silent for a while, until he knew where Lorna was being held, he really had nothing to do. Leave this to me, Levi's said again. To you, can you find Lorna's location? Thunderbird frowned. Can you really find Lorna's location? Clarice also looked at him a little excitedly. Maybe I can't. But Professor X certainly can. The energy of X-Men is still very large and Professor X's telepathy ability can be said to be the strongest at present. It should not be difficult to perceive a specific location of Lorna. Professor X. Everyone was happy to hear this name. After all, Professor X is also very prestigious among all mutants. Then please, Thunderbird said seriously, as mutants help each other as it should. Levi's didn't have a bad impression of the sky, and as Lorna was Magneto's daughter, it was necessary to save her. Otherwise, if Magneto knew that his daughter was arrested and tortured, he would have directly overturned the entire city of Mexico. At that time, the contradiction between mutant and humans may be completely intensified and become an endless situation. That's not what Levi's wants to see. After all, he's on the mutant side these days. Soon, he called Storm. And then quickly told Storm about the current situation. Storm learned that Magneto's daughter was arrested, and knew that the matter was very serious, so he immediately reported the matter to Professor Rex. Vice, don't act rashly for now, I will find out where Polaris is being held as soon as possible and then you will be rescuing. Professor X kept telling him not to act impulsively on the other end of the phone. Don't worry. Professor, I understand. He definitely wouldn't be impulsive, and he didn't need to be impulsive, after all. He didn't even know where Polaris was locked up right now. He remembered it appeared in the TV series, but he couldn't remember it for too long. After hanging up the phone, Levi's turned to look at Thunderbird and smiled. It's done. If Professor X makes a move, I believe Lorna's specific location will be found soon. Great. Everyone was very happy when they got this news. Thank you. Clarice thanked him tenderly. No thanks, it should be. Levi smiled nonchalantly. Brother Vice, let me introduce you to everyone. At this time, Thunderbird enthusiastically pulled him and introduced him to the members of the Mutant Underground Organization. The strength of these mutants is not strong, most of them are in the first or second level. The strongest Thunderbirds and Polaris are just barely reaching the third level mutant. 
Thunderbird's super ability is very comprehensive, he has super hearing and perception, super strength, and even indestructible. It can be said that the body has evolved in all directions. This ability makes Levi's a little envious. If he can sign up for this ability, then the improvement brought to him is huge amounts of. It's a pity that the number of sign-ins today has been used up, and we can only wait for tomorrow. There are so many super abilities in the underground, many of them are very good. Levi's decided to stay here and sign them all. It didn't take long. Soon Storm called again, and they had found where Lorna was being held. After hanging up the phone, Thunderbird asked anxiously, How is it? Where is Lorna being held? Levi's nodded, Don't worry, it's been found. It's in the mutant holding area in the Garland Detention Center. Then what are you waiting for? Let's go save Lorna. Marcos was about to go out after speaking, but was stopped by Thunderbird. The Garland Detention Facility is Sentry Secret Service territory and it's dangerous and we can't be so reckless. As a detention center dedicated to detaining mutants, it is not so easy to break in. Maybe they will get in. As a special organization specializing in the study of mutants, the Sentry Secret Service has developed a lot of weapons against mutants, and the general mutants are really not resistant. Levi's couldn't help but nodded when he heard this. This Thunderbird is worthy of being one of the leaders of the underground organization. But if he was there, it wouldn't be so troublesome. How sure are you, Thunderbird? that you can rescue Lorna. Thunderbird couldn't help frowning when he heard his words. He really wasn't sure if he broke in. But if he didn't break in, how could he be able to rescue Lorna in the detention center? Everyone also fell silent, most of them did not have much combat power, and there was no way to fight against the special weapons of the Sentry Secret Service. It's unrealistic to try to force it, unless Magneto is here. Those people who want to force their way through are all about delivering food. And Levi's remembered that in the Sentry Secret Service, there was a mutant controlled by Dr. Campbell. Thunderbird's good brother Gus. Maybe this name is very unfamiliar to people, but his ability will definitely not make everyone unfamiliar. Because Gus's super ability is to interfere with electricity, but also to make other mutants' super ability ineffective. Once mutants' super ability is invalid, it will be no different from ordinary people. Dot. Chapter 13 The most direct way is to force. Just when everyone was silent, Levi's added, Actually, this matter is very simple. Just leave it to me. Leave it to you? Thunderbird was a little puzzled, not understanding what he meant. That's right. What can you do? Could it be Professor X? Thunderbird guessed that Professor X should help. Don't worry when I go out. Levi's gave him a reassuring look. I'll go with you. Clarice said, no problem, but when the time comes, you can meet outside. Okay, I'll make arrangements now. Thunderbird nodded, and then called in a few mutants with decent combat power. Let's go. Let's go. Levi's waved his hands to leave without any nonsense, but suddenly stopped when he was at the door, and he turned to look at the crowd. By the way, how should I get to the Garland Detention Center? Dot. Inside the car, Levi's was a little embarrassed. He was really unfamiliar with him when he first came to Mexico City. Definitely, he will never admit that he is a bit lunatic. Seeing his embarrassed look, Clarice on the side couldn't help laughing. Two hours later, they finally arrived at the Garland Detention Center. From a distance, the door is heavily guarded, and people who are actually looting nuclear bombs are constantly patrolling. After everyone got out of the car, Thunderbird said to Levi's, We can't get close anymore. If we are found, it will be troublesome. Well, it's all right. Leave it to me next. What are you going to do? Has X-Men sent someone? Thunderbird wondered. Ah dot 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 no one was sent. But I'm enough. Levi's shrugged and smiled. In fact, he didn't have any plans. He just wanted to try his ability. With Vector Operations, he has no worries at all. Hey, brother, you're not kidding. Harry, the black man on the side, looked at him in disbelief, thinking he was joking. Brother Vice, this place is no different than an ordinary detention center. There are people from the Sentry Secret Service who specialize in weapons against mutant. Thunderbird thought he was unfamiliar with the place and explained. No, I'm never kidding. You guys just stay here and pick up. I'll bring Lorna out. After finishing speaking, Levi's did not continue to talk nonsense, and walked directly towards the gate of the Garland Detention Center. Seeing this, everyone looked at each other, wondering if they should stop him. Wait, I'll go with you. Clarice stood in front of him. My ability is teleportation. If you find Lorna, you can use my ability to escape. Ah, uh, no need. Levi's shook his head and refused. He didn't want to escape at all, and he also had room to move and could come out at any time. Clarice saw that he refused and never saw it again. By the way, who of you has a mask for me to take? Levi's suddenly looked at everyone and said, in order not to reveal his identity, he decided to disguise a little. Dot. Everyone looked at each other, but soon the Black Harry found an old cartoon mask in the car. Thanks. Levi's took the mask and put it on, looking a little funny, but it didn't matter. He just swaggered towards the gate of the Garland Detention Center. The Thunderbirds and the others behind him stared at him closely. Once something happened, they would rescue him as soon as possible. Stop. As he approached the gate of the Garland Detention Center, Levi's was spotted by guards at the gate. Good evening, gentlemen. Levi's raised his hand in greeting. Stop, or else shoot. The guard at the door obviously didn't mean to greet him. 
The black muzzle was aimed at him, and it was possible to shoot at any time. However, Levi's didn't stop at all, still swaggering over. The Thunderbirds who were observing all this not far away were a little nervous. Boom! Exclamation mark. When the guard at the door saw that he did not stop, he shot decisively. The gunfire was very loud under the night sky, and when the bullet hit Levi's, it bounced back instantly, hitting the arm of the shooting guard. The guard let out a pain cry, and the rifle in his hand fell directly to the ground. It's mutant. One of the guards shouted when he saw something wrong, and the entire Garland detention center sounded the alarm. Bang bang bang! Exclamation mark. The rest of the guards all raised their guns and fired at Levi's. In this metal storm, he continued to walk forward indifferently, without stopping at all. And all the bullets that came over were not unexpected, all of them were reflected. Some unlucky guards were hit directly by bullets that bounced back. Stop shooting. Ordinary bullets are useless for him. Use the stun gun. At this time, under the order of one of the guards, all the guards took out stun guns specially designed to deal with mutants. As long as this stun gun is hit, it will lose its combat effectiveness in an instant. Stun gun? This one won't work for me. Levi smiled and shook his head and moved on. Sure enough, I saw that the electric current of the stun gun hit him and was still reflected. All guards holding stun guns were knocked down by the reflected electric current. Levi was so unstoppable into the detention center. The news of the mutant breaking into the Garland detention center quickly reached the ears of his superiors. Dot. Chapter 14 Finding Polaris Successfully Dr. Campbell is the head of the Sentry Secret Service. After learning the news, he immediately ordered his sentry to bring weapons to support. At the same time, Levi's had come to the place where the prisoners were being held, and in front of him was a group of guards with guns. Every time he took a step forward, the guards took a step back. It looks kind of funny. Gentlemen, can you tell me where Mutant is being held? Levi's couldn't help teasing as he watched the guards keep retreating in panic. But no one answered him. Well, I knew it would be like this. Levi's shrugged helplessly, not asking the Thunderbirds for a map was his biggest mistake. Because the entire detention area is very large, and he has not visited the detention center, he has no idea where the area where Mutant is being held is. This is a bit of a hassle. But there is no way, who made him a little crazy. After a while, after visiting most of the detention centers, he finally found the Mutant detention area. There are not too many Mutant held here and soon he found the cell where Miss Polaris was held. Hey, is there anyone in there? Levi's pushed open the door of the cell gently, and saw a green-haired girl with a beautiful face lying weakly on the ground. She is Miss Polaris. At the moment, Polaris's condition was not good. She saw blood flowing from her nose and mouth. At a glance, she knew that it was because of forcibly using ability, which caused the collar-like device on her neck to release electric current. Generally speaking, this kind of electric current will not kill people but using ability forcefully is also life-threatening. Hey, are you okay? Levi's patted Polaris on the cheek. Only one handsome figure could be seen in Polaris days. Oh Tilda forget it. Looking at the confused Polaris, he decisively gave up his plan to wake her up, and then put Polaris on his back. Leaving the cell, the surrounding guards hurriedly retreated. Levi's just carried Polaris on his back and swaggered towards the outside. Save us. Please, please let us out. Dot. The mutants in the cell seemed to know that a mutant was coming to save people. So they all began to cry for help. Levi's thought about it and let all these mutants out. I destroyed your collars. It's up to you whether you can escape. Levi's are not babysitters, and letting them out would have done the best thing possible. After helping these mutants break the collars around their necks, he ignored them and walked straight outside. Some mutants use ability to run away, and some mutants still follow him. The ability of these mutants is relatively weak, and they simply cannot escape alone. Levi's didn't bother to pay attention to them either. Outside the detention center, at the moment Thunderbird. Clarice and others all looked at the gate of the detention center anxiously. What to do? The reinforcements from Sentry's Secret Service are here. Clarice was a little anxious. Just now, reinforcements from the Sentry Secret Service arrived, which made everyone very worried. Don't worry, since Vice has the confidence to go in alone, there must be a way to save people. Thunderbird can only comfort everyone like this. Meanwhile on the other side, Levi's walked out as if in a no man's land, carrying Polaris on his back. Along the way, the guards only dared to surround them in the distance but did not dare to shoot. Besides, even if you shoot, you can't hurt the opponent in the slightest, and you may be injured by the reflected bullet, or even killed by your own bullet. No one wants to take this risk. Levi's didn't bother with me there, as long as it didn't get in the way. However, at this moment, a spider-like robot suddenly appeared in front of him. He recognized at a glance that this little robot was a weapon developed by the Sentry Secret Service to deal with mutants. These robots have sharp legs and can crawl on walls and ceilings, and there is a strong electric current attached to it which will release the electric current once it is hugged by this little Spider-Man. The average mutant simply can't take such a shock, and this little Spider-Man robot is not easy to be damaged. Even if a few spider legs are broken, it can still walk normally. The little Spider-Man, with red lights flashing above his head, pounced straight at him after finding his target. Levi stood in front of him with one hand, 
and after little Spider-Man touched his hand, he was instantly ejected and scrapped. However, just after one was solved, more little Spider-Man robots surrounded from the front. Oh. I don't know how much this thing costs. It doesn't look cheap. The corners of Levi's mouth twitched slightly. The next moment, I saw a layer of ice freezing from under his feet. The ice continued to spread forward, and all the little Spider-Men passed by were frozen in place. But in the blink of an eye, the entire passage was covered with a layer of ice. This is Levi's freeze mastery, which freezes everything. This scene also shocked the mutants behind him. And Polaris, who had woken up at some point on his back, was also a little surprised to see this scene. Not afraid of any bullets and electric current, and can instantly freeze everything in front of you. The man in front of him is really powerful and terrifying. Who is this man? Polaris was a little shocked, but what made her even more shocked was still behind. Dot. Chapter 15 Rescue Polaris with Ease Levi's didn't stop, he continued on, but he was at the gate of the detention center in a moment. At the moment there are already a lot of sentry blocks at the door. Yet at this time, the mutants who followed him suddenly fell to the ground without warning. What's going on? Levi's was a little puzzled. I don't know. Ability suddenly doesn't work. Someone interfered with our ability. Dot. Hearing these people's words, Levi's reacted, and the person who made these mutant ability invalid is probably Gus, the good brother of Thunderbird the mutant who can make other people's super ability ineffective. However, Levi's has no effect on this, and the vector operation will automatically reflect substances that are harmful to him. Don't resist and surrender now, or we'll shoot. The sentry from the sentry secret service were very happy that most of the mutants had collapsed in front of them, but they didn't dare to go forward easily, so they could only shout with a loudspeaker. Levi's wanted to use teleportation to leave, but after seeing the many mutants behind him, he decided to help them. His eyes swept across his eyes, and in an instant he found Gus who was interfering with mutant ability. If you don't deal with this guy, it's impossible for the mutant behind him to escape. Immediately after that, he used the freeze control with all his strength, and the next moment saw that the ground continued to condense frost. But in the blink of an eye, the frost spread to the feet of the sentry. The sentry kept backing away in fear, but they were still too slow. After being covered by frost, the ankles of these people were frozen in place in an instant, making them unable to move. Fire. In desperation, the chief of the sentry secret service could only order the shooting. The next moment, the sentry all raised their stun guns and fired. Levi's wasn't afraid of electric shocks, but Polaris and the other mutants behind him certainly couldn't take it. So he waved one hand, and instantly an ice wall blocked in front of everyone. The ice cubes can conduct electricity, and these electric shocks hit the ice cubes, and then go directly to the frozen person along the frost on the ground. For a while, the sentry secret service screamed again and again, and the frost on the ground continued to spread. For a moment, all of Sentry's feet were frozen to the ground. Guth's interference with mutant also disappeared. Okay, let's run for your own life. Levi's waved to the mutants behind him, then he used space move to come to Gus and grab him, and then used space move again to disappear in front of everyone. The whole process is but a moment. Seeing this, the other mutants also hurriedly fled. The Sentry Secret Service and others, who were frozen in place, were powerless to stop them. Thunderbird and the others who saw this scene not far away had their eyes widened in disbelief. They couldn't imagine that Levi's really rescued the person by himself. And it took no effort at all to deal with the people at Sentry's secret service. Especially when Thunderbird saw his good brother appear, he was even more surprised. He knows the ability of his good brother, and as long as he is disturbed, the super ability mutant is just a lamb to be slaughtered. Unexpectedly, Levi's was not affected at all, which is incredible. Hey, guys it's time to go. At this time, Levi's voice appeared behind everyone and Thunderbird and Clarice were all taken aback. Levi's grinned and said, I don't know if you recognize the mutant Thunderbird. It's amazing to have the ability to interfere with a mutant ability. Yes, I definitely know him. He is my good brother Gus, but unfortunately he was caught before. Thunderbird took Gus and said excitedly, Oh, then hand him over to you. But you have to be careful. He seems to be controlled by transformation. Levi's definitely knew that Gus was Thunderbird's brother and that it was only a matter of time to save him. Moreover, the ability that can invalidate the mutant ability cannot be left at the Sentry Special Service, otherwise even the level of Professor X may be disturbed. Lorna, are you okay? Clarice then looked at Polaris with concern. She seems to have been stunned by the collar on her neck by forcibly using ability. Levi's explained helplessly, as long as someone is rescued. Thunderbird was relieved to see that Lorna was okay. Thank you. Please, give her to me. At this time Marcos came over to take the Polaris behind him. Levi's was about to put Polaris down, but found that his neck seemed to be held tightly. Ah. I can't seem to put it down. He wondered if Polaris had already woken up. Otherwise, how could he hold him so tightly? Let's go back first. It's not safe here, Thunderbird said to everyone. Seeing this, Marcos had to give up the plan to take over Polaris. The group got into the car and quickly left the Garland detention center. Inside the car, Levi's looked at Polaris, who had already woken up 
with a confused look on his face. He didn't expect that the guess just now was true, and Polaris had already woken up. Introduce myself, my name is Lorna, thank you very much for saving me. Lorna stroked his hair lightly, then extended his hand to him. Ah, my name is Levi's. Levi's smiled and took her hand. Looking at the water spirit that Lorna, who is only 18 or 19 years old, is really born. It is not like the rough skin of Westerners at all. It can be said that this age is the peak moment of Western appearance. It is no wonder that Miss Polaris attracted countless fans back then, and her appearance was very good. Even with Levi's aesthetics, I appreciate it very much. Dot. Chapter 16 Signing into Polaris, Electromagnetic Forces Vice, are you a mutant who just joined the underground organization? Polaris was so curious about the man in front of her who took her time from start to finish and rescued her from the detention center as if she had been in a no man's land. The feeling of being carried on his back, as if no one in this world can hurt him, that kind of safety is unprecedented. I am a student of Mutant College. Mutant Academy? X-Men. Polaris reacted in an instant. Then why did you come here to save me? Because Clarice wants to come back to see friends. Levi's was very straightforward in explaining why he was here. After listening to Polaris, she felt a little lost. She thought that Levi's was here to save her. Clarice thank you. No need to thank you. If it wasn't for you, Lorna. I would have been arrested too. Clarice smiled and shook her head. Polaris also smiled when she saw this, and she was glad that she had saved Clarice in the first place. The vehicle moved slowly. Soon they were back in the underground stronghold of the abandoned steel mill. Mutant, who stayed here, was very happy to see Polaris being rescued. To thank Levi's, Thunderbird threw a special banquet. The crowd had fun. Thank you this time, otherwise, we might not be able to save Lorna. In front of the bar, Thunderbird thanked him again and went straight to the belly after a glass of wine. You thanked him many times. Levi's shook his head indifferently. By the way, why are you here? I mean, why don't you join the X-Men, or the Mutant Brotherhood? Thunderbird's strength is not weak, and ability has a very comprehensive leadership temperament. If X-Men can be added, its role is not weaker than Storm and Cyclops. Moreover, joining the two parties, ordinary people will not trouble them, such as the Sentry Secret Service. I thought about this too, but I met Lorna and the others at that time. Thunderbird began to talk about how he met Polaris, and Levi's listened to his narration while drinking. After three rounds of drinking, it was getting late. Thunderbird patted him on the shoulder. I have prepared a room for you, just stay here for a while longer. No problem. Levi's nodded happily. Needless to say, he must stay here for a while longer. After all, there are so many people who can sign in. The next day, early in the morning, Levi's reported the situation to Storm and learned that Polaris had been rescued, and Professor Rex and the others were relieved. In fact, what he didn't know was that Professor Rex's mental power had been watching him last night. Otherwise, if they didn't reply to the news overnight, they would have been in a hurry. Morning Lorna. When I just went out, I didn't expect to meet Lorna. Levi smiled and raised his hand to say hello. Morning. Lorna returned with a bright smile. His expression moved slightly, and then he checked in with Polaris directly. As the host checked into mutant Polaris? Sign in. Ding. The sign in is successful. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the super ability electromagnetic force and 100 experience points. It turned out to be electromagnetic force. Levi's was surprised when he saw this super ability, but he didn't expect to sign up for electromagnetic force. You must know that electromagnetism is one of the four basic forces of the universe. Magneto's super ability is electromagnetism. It's a pity that his strength is limited, and the most he can play is to control steel. In the reverse future, Magneto's electromagnetic force is the strongest after Apocalypse's strengthening and he can even use electromagnetic force to induce the entire Earth's magnetic field. That destructive scene, Levi still remembers it to this day. And the electromagnetic force can not only control the steel, but also launch the super electromagnetic gun. Thinking of this, Levi's only felt that the DNA moved unconsciously, and could not wait to pull out a coin to fire a railgun. What's wrong with you, Vice? Polaris couldn't help waving his hand in front of him when he saw his eyes fixed on him. Artilda it's okay. I just remembered something happy, Levi said with a smile on his face. A happy thing? Polaris looked at him oddly. By the way, have you ever thought about joining X-Men? Join the X-Men. But my father is Magneto. In fact, Polaris has long known his origin from his aunt, but because he resented his father Magneto for abandoning him, he never joined the Brotherhood. And X-Men is the opposite of Mutant Brotherhood, and she has no idea of joining X-Men. As for the Hellfire Club, it has always been very secretive, and no one knows how to join. That's why Polaris, together with Thunderbird and others, formed the mutant underground organization. When Polaris told Levi's this, he finally understood why Polaris was here. In this case, I think you should join the X-Men. Levi's looked at her and smiled. Why? Polaris wondered. You should hate your father for abandoning you now. That's right. Polaris nodded. Professor X and Magneto are old enemies, don't you want to join the X-Men and make some trouble for Magneto? Levi's said with a smile. When Polaris heard his words, 
His eyes lit up, fighting against her father to vent her dissatisfaction with her father. Her rebellious heart made her approve this idea in an instant. Okay, I'll join. Welcome to join, Levi said with a smile. At the moment, he could already imagine that Magneto's nose was crooked when he knew that his daughter was specifically against him. Dot. Chapter 17 I was confessed by Miss Polaris. When Polaris told everyone about joining the X-Men, everyone's reaction was mixed. Some helpless people also agreed to join the X-Men, but some mutants who came from here were reluctant to leave. Thunderbird, how is it? Would you like to join the X-Men? Levi's and Thunderbird came to a nearby bar. Thunderbird frowned when he heard his words. If I leave, what will happen to these people? Thunderbird has been with people in the underground organization for a long time, and they have deep feelings for each other. If he wants to remember to abandon the remaining mutants like this, he can't do it. Is that so? Levi's had nothing to do for a while, so he called Storm and told her about it. There is no doubt about Thunderbird's ability, if joining the X-Men will undoubtedly make them stronger, but considering those who are reluctant to leave. In the end, Professor X gave a proposal, that is, Thunderbird and the others still join the X-Men, but they don't need to go to Xavier's school. It's like they belong to a sub-base of X-Men development, X-Men will fully support Thunderbird. For example, the next time Mutant is caught, X-Men will come forward to rescue people. On the other hand, Thunderbird must obey X-Men's arrangements when necessary. I agree, Thunderbird agreed without thinking. After all, it is good to enjoy the shade under the big tree, and their life will be much better if they hang the name of X-Men. Welcome to join, let's toast. Levi's raised a glass to welcome him. Now that he really regards X-Men as his home, he naturally hopes that X-Men will become stronger and stronger. Everyone was very happy when the news of Thunderbird was told to others. With the big tree X-Men around, they don't have to worry about it every day. In his spare time, Levi's looked at his system panel. Host, Levi's. Super ability, vector operation, space movement, freeze control, fire control, energy absorption, electromagnetic force. Super ability level, LV.3, level 3 mutant. Experience value, 1500. Looking at his panel. Levi's is in a very good mood, and now he only needs to continue to sign in five times to become a fourth level mutant. And his next goal has been found. Hey, alone. While Levi's was in a daze, Polaris sat beside him. Ah. Yes. Levi's mouth twitched slightly. Would you like to go out with me then? Polaris invited. Okay. Simply having nothing to do, he agreed. However, Clarice, who was not far away, looked a little sad when she saw the two who were leaving together, and Meng came to her side and patted her on the shoulder comfortingly. The other side. Levi's and Polaris came to the bustling streets. Polaris wrapped his arms around him quite naturally. Levi's was a little uncomfortable, but she let her go. While the two were walking down the street, Polaris began to ask him something. Vice, I still don't know what your ability is. It looks too powerful. Polaris still can't forget the scene that night when Levi's rescued her from detention in an invincible manner, as if no one could hurt him. This ability really shocked and curious in her heart. Definitely, it doesn't matter if you don't want to say it. He <laughs> he, it's okay. It's not a secret anyway. Levi's smiled and shook his head. As you can see, my ability is reflection, which can reflect any object, whether it's a bullet or an electric current. Well, in addition to that, there are the ability to freeze and the move through space. These are the abilities that were used that night. Even if he didn't say Polaris, he would have guessed some of them, so he might as well say it outright. It turned out to be a mutant with many abilities. Polaris was a little surprised. Although he had seen him use multiple abilities that day, it was still shocking to hear him admit it himself. You must know that mutants with multiple abilities are rare, and every ability is so powerful. Polaris looked at him in amazement with a pair of beautiful eyes. He couldn't believe that the man in front of him was so powerful. What's wrong? Look at me like that. Levi's looked uncomfortable. I like you very much. Do you want to be my boyfriend? Polaris said with a big smile. What? Levi's was a little confused but he didn't expect him to be confessed by Polaris, and he was so straightforward. Although he used to like Polaris in the TV series very much, but in reality it was only the first time they met. As far as I know, Clarice isn't your girlfriend yet. Polaris added, it's not. Levi said helplessly. Then why didn't you say yes? Polaris came up to him and looked at him closely. This, faced with Polaris' bold confession. He has a headache, although he does have a good impression of Polaris. The two are just acquaintances, and they don't know each other very well. He is a person who takes his feelings very seriously, and he doesn't want to agree so hastily. It was at this time. Boom! Exclamation mark. Suddenly, there was an explosion not far away, and even the ground trembled slightly. What happened? Levi's attention was drawn in an instant, and he was also out of the embarrassing situation. Polaris felt a little regretful that he didn't agree, but she didn't care too much. She believed that she would be able to conquer this powerful man in front of her. Why don't we go take a look? Polaris suggested. <clears throat> Levi's nodded. Soon the two came to the site of the explosion, which was a bar. At the moment it was very chaotic outside the bar, and people kept running out of the bar in a panic. Dot. 
chattering the Strucker twins appear. Forget it, let's leave. Standing outside, I couldn't see what was going on inside, and Levi simply didn't want to pay attention to it. Okay then. Polaris wasn't interested either. However, just as the two were about to leave, Levi's inadvertently turned his eyes to a man and a woman running out of the bar and left quickly. These two, he frowned and looked at the direction the two were leaving, always feeling that he had seen the two of them somewhere. Is it them? Levi suddenly remembered two people, Lauren and Andrew, known as the Stracker twins. Both siblings are mutants, and their ability is manipulators. Sister Lauren can condense molecules, mainly by condensing water molecules. The younger brother, Andrew, is capable of destroying molecules, thereby causing a powerful destructive force. And when the two join hands and work together, they can release powerful energy to destroy everything and the destructive power is comparable to the fourth level mutant. You must know that the fourth level mutant is very powerful, and it can be called the ceiling level among the mutants. As far as he knows, the current fourth level mutants are only Professor Rex, Magneto, Scarlet Witch, Apocalypse, and the Strucker twins in front of him. And the fifth level mutant has only Jean Grey, which is Phoenix. This shows the scarcity of level four mutants. Maybe get them into the X-Men. Definitely, recruiting them is just incidental. The most important thing is to sign on both of them. The Strucker twins have the ability to manipulate molecules. What can manipulators do? Molecules are composed of atoms in a certain bonding sequence and space arrangement and the whole united together. Everything in the world is made up of atoms. When atoms are arranged in a certain bonding order and space, then molecules are born. Molecules make up everything in the world. It can be said that as long as you can completely manipulate molecules, you can manipulate everything in the world. At that time, it will not be a problem to create things out of thin air change life expectancy, etc. Definitely, Levi's is not very clear about the specific things that can be done, maybe he should read more books on this, otherwise, if you get the ability but don't know how to use it, you will be in vain. Levi's isn't catching up now, because he knew that the Strucker twins would be delivered sooner or later. Return to the underground stronghold of the mutant organization. Polaris didn't mention the previous confession, but her attitude towards Levi's was even better. Mutants from the entire underground could see that she was interested in Levi's. This made Clarice, who had always liked him, a little uncomfortable. At the same time, the other person who was suffering was Marcos. Looking at Polaris, who was talking and laughing with Levi's, he only felt as if something had been stolen. Make him feel bad. But no one cared what he thought. The next day, Levi's woke up early in the morning and his goal today was to sign on the Thunderbirds. Thunderbirds' ability is like a whole body evolution, giving him supervision hearing and smell, as well as powerful strength and an indestructible body, etc. This ability made him a little jealous. After all, the ability he currently possesses will not strengthen his body. It is said that the body is the capital of everything, and he values the super ability of Thunderbird as much as any other ability. Hey, Lorna, where is the Thunderbird? After searching around and not finding it, Levi's could only ask Polaris, who was sitting on the sofa in the living room. Oh. He's on the phone over there. Polaris pointed to the room to the side. Thanks. Levi's thanked him and walked towards the room. As soon as he approached the room, he heard the sound of Thunderbird making a phone call. There was a lot of noise over the phone. John Proud, the leader of the mutant underground organization, my family needs your help. The voice on the phone sounded very urgent. Oh? Maybe. Thunderbird didn't care. Remember the mutant attack on the bar yesterday? They were my children. Really? If that's all you want to say, I'm sorry I can't help. When Thunderbird heard what the other party said, he was somewhat impressed by yesterday's news, but he still didn't intend to help. After all, the two sides don't know each other at all, so there is no need to cause trouble for themselves, and many more. The other end of the phone was a little anxious, as if afraid of being hung up. Give me a reason to help you, Thunderbird said patiently. Hearing his words, there was no sound on the other end of the phone, as if he didn't know what to say. Just as Thunderbird was about to hang up, Levi's pushed the door open. Wait, don't hang up yet. Thunderbird was a little surprised to hear what he said but he didn't hang up. Can I talk to him? Levi's smiled at the Thunderbird. Definitely. Thunderbird readily handed over the phone to him. Hello, Mr. Strucker. You are? The man on the phone was Reed Strucker, the father of the Struckers. X-Men, you should know. Levi's chuckled. The average person might not know the name of the X-Men, but Reed is an inspector who often deals with mutant. He must know about X-Men. As predicted, are you from the X-Men? Reed Strucker also thought about asking for help from X-Men after knowing that his two children were mutants. But he didn't know where X-Men was or how to get in touch. Moreover, far away can't quench near thirst, so they will find the Thunderbird, the leader of Mutants Underground Organization. Dot. Chapter 19 Sign in Thunderbird, Evolution As a prosecutor who has always been on the opposite side of Mutant, Reed is indeed a good father. After discovering that the two children were mutant, he decided to give up his career and choose to protect the children. It's the exact opposite of what another mutant Rebecca's parents did. Yes, 
You should know about the mutant attack at Garland Detention Center, yes, that's what I did. Reed was a little surprised to hear this, after all, this matter has been very noisy these days. A powerful mutant released all the mutants in the detention center, but the Sentry Secret Service couldn't do anything about it. I didn't expect the other party to do it. What do I need to do to get your help? You don't need to do anything. Having a powerful mutant join us X-Men is very welcome. I want to meet you. Reed didn't quite believe what he said, so he wanted to chat face to face. No problem. Levi's agreed without hesitation. After figuring out the location of tomorrow's connector, he hung up the phone. Thunderbird was a little puzzled. Why help them? Maybe it's a trap. I was there when the bar was attacked by mutant yesterday. Levi's smiled and added, and do you see me as someone who is afraid of traps? Thunderbird shrugged and said nothing. He remembered the night when Levi single-handedly rescued Polaris and his strong and unafraid of any danger really shocked him. Perhaps this is the attitude mutants should have. Thinking of this, he was secretly envious. Although he also had an indestructible body, he couldn't stand the stun guns of the sentry for long. By this time, Levi's had signed on the Thunderbirds. Ding. Did the host check into the mutant Thunderbird? Sign-in. Ding. The sign-in is successful. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the super ability evolution, with 100 experience points. As expected, he obtained the evolution super ability. He checked it carefully and was immediately surprised, because this evolution ability is really too strong. Evolution can make the body stronger overall. For example, Thunderbird's supervision, hearing and smell, powerful strength and indestructible body, etc., are all abilities brought about by the evolution of the body. And today's Levi's body is also slowly evolving, and this process may take a few days. And this ability increases with the level of mutant. That is to say, as if he was promoted to the fifth level mutant, maybe he can compare to Superman's body of steel in physical strength. At that time, strong eyesight and hearing, awakening heat ray, and super hearing may be possible. Thinking of this, Levi's couldn't help showing a bright smile on his face. Come on, Thunderbird, let's go have a few drinks. In a good mood, he took Thunderbird directly to drink. The next day, Levi's and Polaris go to the Mutant Bar, which is the industry of the Mutant Underground Organization and is usually used as a place to gather intelligence. Since Thunderbird needs to deal with the organization's file size affairs, the two of them have to come. When they came to the door of the bar, the two pushed the door and entered. There were not many people in the bar in the morning, and Levi's quickly locked the middle-aged man sitting in the corner with a worried face. If nothing else, this man is the father of the Strucker twins, Reed Strucker. Levi's and Polaris looked at each other and walked over. Reed found them when they first entered the door, and he knew that the person he was looking for was coming. Hello, Mr. Strucker. Levi's and Polaris sat opposite Reed. Are you X-Men? Reed asked in a low voice frowning. Definitely. Levi's nodded. Can you send my child to safety? A safe place? Mr. Strucker, I want to ask you, as a mutant, what is the safest place? Levi's smiled unhurriedly and ordered three cups of coffee at the same time. Reed couldn't help but be silent when he heard this. Now the conflict between mutant and human beings is increasingly intensified, and officials in many places are suppressing mutant. Once mutant is caught, he will face various human experiments. Reed, as a prosecutor, is very aware of this kind of thing. Professor X's reputation as you should know, the professor has always been committed to creating an environment where mutants and human beings can coexist peacefully. He founded the Mutant Academy to teach and protect all mutants, so, I promise. Before Levi's finished speaking, Reed couldn't wait to agree. He knew very well that now only Xavier's school was the best fit for him, after all. The two children were still in school. But they can't go to ordinary schools, they can only go to Mutant Academy. Welcome. The corners of Levi's mouth twitched into a smile. With the addition of the Strucker twins, the X-Men can become even stronger. At the same time, he can also sign in to obtain the powerful ability of manipulators, which is simply killing two birds with one stone. Mr. Straker, after dark, you can go to this location, where will we wait for you? Polaris explained the location of the night connection. The meeting place this time is a bit far away, and Reed also needs to go back to prepare, and then take the family to the meeting point. In short, take them back to the headquarters of the underground organization. Levi's would then contact Storm and ask her to send someone to pick up the Strakers. Dot. Chapter 20 The Strucker family was kidnapped. Thank you so much then. Reed thanked him and stood up to leave. Mr. Straker won't go without a cup of coffee. Levi's chuckled. Thanks, but no need. Reed was so worried about his family that he had no intention of drinking coffee here. Levi's shrugged and didn't stop him. Vice. I wonder why you attach so much importance to the Struckers? Polaris has always had some doubts. Ah. Uh, didn't I tell you? Mr. Strucker's child is a fourth level mutant, and the bar explosion that day was caused by their awakening power. So that's what it is. It turned out to be a fourth level mutant. Polaris was a little surprised. She knew very well how powerful the fourth level mutant was, such as her father Magneto. Although she hadn't seen Magneto in person, she could usually hear what Magneto was doing from other mutants. Level 4 mutant is enough to change the world. Just like Professor Rex, Magneto, 
Apocalypse, Scarlet Witch, etc., which one is not a person who has a strong influence on the world. Not to mention the level 5 mutant Jean Grey who almost destroyed the world. The Strucker twins have just been born, and if left unguided, into the hands of Hellfire, there will be huge amounts of impact on the entire world and the future of mutant. While the two were chatting not far from them, a blonde woman moved her ears and seemed to hear the conversation between the two, and then the woman quietly left the bar. Levi's and Polaris sat for a while before returning to the mutant underground headquarters. They need to be ready to pick up the Strakers at night. Because of the drone patrols of the Sentry Secret Service during the day, it can only operate at night. Dot. Time soon came to evening. Levi's and Clarice, Polaris, and Harry, the Black, waited at the junction. This is an abandoned steel factory, the lights are a little dim, and the surroundings are pitch dark. Levi's, who was waiting for boredom, looked around and said strangely. Were the four of us just now? Yeah. Clarice gave him a strange look. Then have you noticed that one person is missing? Who? Clarice and Polaris were a little puzzled. The four of them were clearly here. It's Mr. Harry. Did you see Mr. Harry? Levi spread his hands. Clarice and Polaris exchanged glances. Isn't Mr. Harry here? Polaris pointed beside him. Ah, uh, I think maybe I'm too dark. Black Harry said quite self-aware. Oh. So Mr. Harry is here. I said he can be invisible without using ability. Levi suddenly realized. Hearing him say this. Clarice and Polaris finally understood that he was making fun of the Black Harry. Clarice couldn't help but chuckle. Polaris also laughed out loud. Harry, not to mention, he is so black, standing in the dark in black clothes, if he doesn't show his white teeth, he can't usually be seen. Ha ha Tilda just kidding, don't mind Mr. Harry. It's okay, I've seen too many jokes like this. It was a sad story for Harry. While talking and laughing, the four of them had been waiting for an hour before they knew it. Half an hour has passed since the appointed time but the Strucker family still hasn't come. What's the matter? Mr. Strucker doesn't seem like a punctual person. Polaris was a little puzzled. Ah. Maybe they have something to delay. Let's wait a bit. Levi's said helplessly. Yet at this moment, his phone rang. He picked it up and looked, but he didn't expect Thunderbird to call. Hello, Thunderbird. The situation is not good. The Strucker family was robbed. What? Was it kidnapped by someone? It's not clear yet. Thunderbird just received Reed's distress call, but the call was disconnected halfway through, and he didn't know who robbed the Strucker family. Levi's was a little angry, but he didn't expect that someone would dare to rob him of what he liked. And only the Sentry Secret Service knew that the Strakers had mutants. Is that what the Sentry Secret Service did? This is unlikely. We have not found any trace of Sentry's Secret Service dispatched through surveillance, Thunderbird replied. He frowned upon hearing this answer. Then there is only one possibility. After knowing it wasn't the Sentry Secret Service, Levi's had a guess. In addition to the Sentry Secret Service in this area, only the Hellfire Club can rob the Straker family at this time. If he expected it well, the one who stole the Straker family was the black girl at the top of the Hellfire Club in the original book ability. The black girl is called Vua. She is a third level mutant, and her super ability is infrasound. As long as she opens her mouth, she can move infrasound attacks. Those who are enveloped by infrasound waves will pass out in a very painful coma. Even mutant, if he can't resist, has no resistance in the face of such infrasound waves. Black Sister Rewa's purpose is to create an ideal world that belongs to mutant. And to do this, all humans must be eliminated. The purpose of her kidnapping the Strucker family is self-evident, that is to use the power of the Struckers to destroy all human beings. It can only be said that Rewa after Blacken has fallen into madness. Not to mention whether the Strucker twins have the ability to destroy all human beings. Even if there is, it cannot be done. After all, the water in this world is very deep. Dot. Chapter 21 The Spiritual Invasion of the Three Cuckoo Sisters After figuring out who had kidnapped the Strakers, Levi's immediately contacted Storm. The quickest way to find the abducted Strucker family is to use the power of X-Men. The call is connected. Mr. Rollo is not good. When Storm, who had just fallen asleep, heard this, his face suddenly darkened. I'm fine, you'd better explain it to me, otherwise I'll teach you to respect the teacher when you come back. Levi's was a little embarrassed to hear Storm's complaining voice. After all, anyone who is disturbed so late will have a temper but he doesn't care, is such that, he then told Storm what had happened, knowing that a level 4 mutant was born and was captured by the Hellfire Club, Storm knew it was a serious matter, so he hurriedly got up and knocked on Professor Rex's door, soon, Professor Rex, Cyclops, Kin, and Logan all gathered in the conference room, there is actually a fourth level mutant born, is it true or false, after learning what happened, Cyclops expressed some doubts, it should be true if it's Wiss's kid, Jin still looked very much like Levi's, according to the information just investigated, Powerful mutants did appear in the ancestors of the Strucker family. They are called the Strucker twins, but his descendants are nowhere to be seen. It seems that it was the Strucker family that Vice encountered. Storm reports on the investigation. So what? Wolverine Logan asked. So we have to fully support and we must not let the Struckers fall into the Hellfire Club's hands. 
Professor X finally spoke. Everyone is meaningless. Should we send reinforcements? Storm asked. No, I believe that kid will be able to handle this matter. Professor X shook his head. Okay, then we just need to support target position. Cyclops shrugged. Dot. At the same time, on the other hand, Levi's quickly received the target position sent by Storm. In front of the company building where Hellfire Club Rewa is located, Levi's and Polaris, Claris, Thunderbird and others soon arrived. What to do? Do you want to force it? Thunderbird asked. Definitely, this is the easiest and the most direct way, isn't it? Levi smiled and shrugged. He always likes to be straight in his work, and his powerful super ability makes him unnecessary to worry so much. After he finished speaking, he walked straight towards the building. The Thunderbirds, Polaris and others behind him had no choice but to follow. That's when they entered the building. The three shadowy cuckoo sisters reported to Rewa that there was a mutant invasion. Rewa didn't panic when she got the news. When she robbed the Straker family, she knew that the mutant underground organization would come for trouble. But she was not worried at all, because she had already arranged a response plan. Immediately afterwards, Rewa walked downstairs with the three multi-shadow cuckoo sisters. The other side, Levi's and the others were stopped by the security guard at the door as soon as they entered the building. These security guards are just ordinary people, and they were easily knocked out by the invisible Black Harry. The group went to the inside of the building unimpeded. When they came to a dark hall, the lights around them suddenly lit up. Rewa and the three shadowy cuckoo sisters have been waiting here for a long time. Welcome to my fellow mutants, I am very clear about your intentions, but can you wait until I finish talking and then decide? Rewa looked at everyone calmly and said, I don't think there is anything to talk about between us. Hurry up and hand over the Strucker family. The way is different. Levi's doesn't think he and Rewa have anything to say, this guy is purely black and wants to take revenge on mankind. Although he is also very sympathetic to what happened to Rewa, he does not agree with what she has done. You are the mutant who forcibly broke into the Garland Detention Center to save people. Hello. Rewa looked at him with interest, and was able to forcibly break into the Garland Detention Center and come out unscathed. The power of this mutant in front of him was beyond imagination. If she can be recruited, she will be one step closer to her dream. I saw Rewa calmly winked at the three shadowy cuckoo sisters beside her. Don't talk nonsense, I'm not interested in what purpose you have. If you don't hand over Strucker, then I'll have to. Before Levi's could finish speaking, he suddenly felt a tingling in his head as if being stabbed by a needle, as if something was about to squeeze into his mind. Humphrey, he snorted coldly, and the vector operation reflected this annoying thing in an instant. At this moment, the three cuckoo sisters fell to the ground with a cry of pain. All this happened in an instant, and no one reacted. What's the matter? Has the other party made a move? Polaris's hands radiated green light, and he instantly grabbed a large amount of steel bars in the wall and prepared to do it. Thunderbird also looked at Rewa vigilantly. All of a sudden, everyone became vigilant. At the moment Levi's face was icy cold, if the feeling just now was correct, the mental power of the three cuckoo sisters had invaded. The three cuckoo sisters have the ability to control the mind, and if the three of them use the ability together, they have already reached the third level mutant. Even a third level mutant will be unknowingly controlled by mind control. The original Polaris was influenced by the mind control of the three cuckoo sisters before joining the Hellfire Club. Just now, the three cuckoo sisters tried to use ability to affect Levi's, but were reflected by his vector manipulation, and the three of them were instantly knocked out by ability backlash. Dot. Chapter 22 Sign into the Three Cuckoo Sisters, Mind Control Levi's was indeed a little caught off guard when he was invaded by spiritual power for the first time. However, this also proved that in the Mutant Academy, Professor Rex, Kin and others did not use mind control on him. Looking at Rewa in front of him, he had murderous intent in his heart. What this woman had done had violated his bottom line. Humphrey, it seems we have nothing to say. Levi snorted coldly. Your ability is so special that even mind control doesn't work for you. Rewa looked at the three fainted cuckoo sisters and looked at Levi's, and couldn't help but exclaimed, but it was a pity. It's a pity that such a powerful mutant cannot be used by her. Then it can only be destroyed. Clap clap! Exclamation mark. Rewa clapped his hands lightly and in the next moment many mutants appeared around them. It was estimated that there were more than 30 people. Levi's wrinkled at this, and found that most of these mutants were released from the Garland Detention Center, but I didn't expect to be included by Rua, and because he was wearing a mask when he broke into the Garland Detention Center that day, these people didn't recognize him. Humphrey, are these trash fish your trump card? Levi's shook his head disdainfully. It wasn't that he looked down on these mutants. In his eyes, these mutants were just some trash. I'm giving you a chance, Polaris, I appreciate you come to my side, I'll build a perfect mutant country. Seeing that he couldn't fool him, Rewa started fooling Polaris again. No one will help you, give up. Polaris refused without hesitation. How about you Thunderbird? As the leader of the mutant underground organization, if you come to my side, I will. Stop dreaming, do you think these people can keep us? Thunderbird interrupted her directly. He didn't think these people could keep them at all. Looks like there's nothing to say. So sorry, Rewa said and clapped his hands again. 
The next moment, I saw that the space around them was abnormal, and the pieces of space seemed to be reversed, which was shocking. Levi's was startled and suddenly thought of a mutant. Her name is Rebecca, and she is the most destructive mutant among the abilities. Its ability is to manipulate the dimension of space, and what it is best at is to reverse the inside and outside of an object, that is, the outside becomes the inside, and the inside becomes the outside. This kind of ability is really scary, and Levi's is not sure that vector operations can block this trick. Besides, even if he could block it, Thunderbird and Polaris and others couldn't. At a critical juncture, he instantly found Rebecca who was hiding in the mutant and was casting ability. Teleportation came behind Rebecca, and a hand knife knocked her out. The whole process was lightning fast. As Rebecca fainted, the spatial reversal also stopped. Levi sighed in relief. Unexpectedly, the group was almost wiped out. Thinking of this, he was not talking nonsense, and all the mutants were frozen in place in an instant when he used freeze control. It's over. Levi's looked at Riwa coldly. Really? Riwa didn't give up. She still had the last trump card. I saw her mouth open wide, invisible infrasounds came out, and the mutants whose feet were frozen suddenly showed painful expressions. Thunderbird, Polaris and others on the side also covered their ears in pain. Infrasonic attack? No use for me. Levi's shook his head disdainfully, and then came to Riwa with an infrasound wave and punched her firmly in the stomach. Pity Xiangsu. Sorry he doesn't have the slightest interest in black girls. Under the fist that manipulated the vector. Riwa was directly knocked out by a seemingly light punch. Levi's didn't just kill her because she was still useful. He also wants the super ability Infrasound, but he only has one chance to sign in today. Rebecca's ability to reverse the space must be obtained. The horror of the destructive power of this ability is really shocking. There is also the mind control of the three shadowy cuckoo sisters. Yes, mind control. Levi's eyes lit up, and instead of killing them, it was better to use mind control to completely control them. In this way, you can also leave some trump cards for yourself at least not short of money, do it when you think of it. He directly checked in the three cuckoo sisters with multiple shadows. Ding. Did the host check in with the three mutant cuckoo sisters? Yes, sign me in. Ding. The sign in is successful, congratulations to the host for obtaining the super ability mind control, with 100 experience points. The system defaulted to checking in the three cuckoo sisters at the same time, which he did not expect. But that's fine too. And the super ability he obtained was not what he expected. It was mind control. And he has a lot of mind control abilities, such as reading memory, reading mind, reciting with distant objects, thinking elimination, will augmentation, thinking reproduction, emotional transplantation, memory modification, etc. It can be said that his mind control has almost all the abilities that he should have. Thinking of this, the corners of Levi's mouth twitched slightly, and it was time to implement his plan. Vice, what should we do now? Polaris and Clarice who had been making soy sauce, also gathered around at this time. They must have hidden the Strucker family somewhere. You can find them separately. I still have some things to do. Well, that's good. Thunderbird and Polaris agreed, and then parted ways to search the building. Dot. 7% Chapter 23 Triplets become quintuplets. Levi's was the only one left in the hall. He came to Riwa and used mind control to directly invade Riwa's spiritual world. In the spiritual world, Levi's saw fragments of memories of Riwa growing up before Blacken. Riwa was also a simple little white flower, but it's a pity that since her good friend was killed, she was completely blackened. He didn't watch Riwa's memory too much. He directly deleted the memory that led to Riwa blackened. Then the memory of him was re-implanted. After doing all this, Levi's withdrew from Riwa's spiritual world. Immediately after, he came to the fainted Rebecca in the same way, and also implanted the idea of recognizing him as the master. This idea cannot be resisted. From this moment on, they will be Levi's faithful servants. Finally he came to the three cuckoo sisters. The three sisters are triplets, with blonde hair, blue eyes and bumps. Levi's took a closer look and found that the three not only had the same face, but also almost the same body. Exactly the same triplets. This completely hit his XP. Levi's remembered that they were supposed to be clones of the White Queen, not triplets at first, but quintuplets. It's just that the organization left two of them as hostages and coerced the other three to work for the organization. I just don't know if the other two are still there. In the original book, the other two were killed. Without thinking too much, Levi's used mind control to invade one of them's spiritual space. However, miraculously, his mind control was actually linked with the spirits of the three cuckoo sisters. The three cuckoo sisters have the same soul, and they can perceive each other's thoughts from each other. And at the moment Levi's was able to view the memories of three people at the same time. As much as he knew, after being created by the Hellfire Club, two of them were held hostage somewhere. Fortunately, through the perception of the five sisters' mutual spiritual connection, the two people who were taken as hostages did not die. And according to what he had just checked Riwa's memory, she seemed to know where the two sisters were being held. Thinking of this, Levi's checked Riwa's memory again and found that the two sisters were hidden in the basement of the building. This is really ingenious. 
It was at this time, the three Cuckoo sisters woke up at the same time. Perhaps because at the moment Levi's is still connected with them, the three sisters are very kind to him. Facing the kind gazes from the three, Levi's didn't want to modify their memories. I know you're working for the Hellfire Club because two sisters were taken hostage, and I can help you get them out. Without speaking, Levi's told the three directly his words through telepathy. The three at the moment had absolutely no privacy in front of him. The three cuckoo sisters looked at each other and nodded at the same time. As long as you help us rescue them, we are willing to work for you. Okay, it's a deal. Levi's agreed decisively. In telepathy. He didn't find the three sisters to lie in the slightest, so he believed them very much. Then he took the three cuckoo sisters to the underground base of the building. Because of Riwa's memory, he easily found the remaining two cuckoo sisters hidden deep underground. The two are now in a deep sleep, and the way to wake them up is very simple. After some operation, the two really woke up. The three cuckoo sisters have become five sisters, and their mind control network is more powerful, and there is a faint trend of fourth level mutants. At the same time, Levi's mind control can also join the mind network of the five cuckoo sisters, and occupy an absolute dominant position. Oh no. The five cuckoo sisters stood in front of him, bending over to salute at the same time. Looking at the five people who were almost identical, Levi's only felt that his collecting addiction had been satisfied like never before. Very good, you will still help Riwa to control this place in the future. Don't worry, Riwa is still under my control and you will be the masters of this place in the future. Yes, master, the five cuckoo sisters said in unison. Ah, don't call me master, just call me. The title of the master is too embarrassing, and those who don't know it think they are playing role-playing. Leaving the underground with the five cuckoo sisters, it happened that Thunderbird and Polaris also came back. The Strucker family has also been found and brought out. Vice, are they? Polaris looked suspiciously at the five identical cuckoo sisters standing behind him. If she remembered correctly, these people should be from the Hellfire Club. Thunderbird and the others also looked over in confusion. Don't worry, they're just being threatened when they work for the Hellfire Club. Levi's explained it briefly. Everyone understood after hearing it. It's amazing, it's actually quintuplets. Clarice looked at the nearly identical five people in surprise. Okay, since you are all right, Mr. Strucker, let's get out of here. Levi's said to the Strucker family. Thanks a lot. Reed said gratefully. He knew that if Levi's hadn't come to save them, I'm afraid they wouldn't end well, and the best outcome would be imprisonment. Sons and daughters are threatened to do things for him. Thank you. Reed's wife Caitlin also nodded in thanks. Behind him, Lauren and Andrew looked curiously at the handsome man in front of them. Don't say thank you, let's go. Levi's waved his hand nonchalantly. The most important thing to him was to be able to sign on them. If I remember correctly, Reed is also a mutant with super ability, but his grandfather used special medicine to suppress his mutant gene since he was a child. As a result, he is still just an ordinary person. But once Reed's mutant genes are activated again, his ability will become uncontrollable. After returning to Mutant College, this matter must be explained to Professor Rex. And Levi's is happy to have another person who can sign in. Dot. Chapter 24 Signing in to Reed. Atomic Collapse. After making some arrangements for Iwa and the five Cuckoo Sisters, Levi's and Thunderbird escorted the Struckers back to the headquarters of the Mutant Underground Organization. Mr. Strucker, you can live here temporarily. I will contact Professor X to pick you up soon, and you will be very safe at Mutant College. I hope you can have a new beginning. In front of the stage, Levi smiled at Reed next to him with a glass of red wine in his hand. Yeah, thanks a lot. Reed didn't know what to say except for the words of thanks. Although the mutant in front of him was still very young, it gave him an inexplicable pressure. Don't be so nervous. Levi couldn't help laughing when he saw his silence. By the way, Mr. Strucker, if you guessed correctly, you should also be a mutant. Me? It's impossible. Reed shook his head and didn't believe what he said at all. He never found out that he had super ability when he grew up. How could he be a mutant? Don't be in a hurry to deny it. Remember that your father often injects you with a drug? Levi's words left Reed pondering that his father had indeed injected him with a drug since he was a child before he understood how it worked. Now that he heard this, he immediately thought of it. That's right. The drug your father injected you with is the drug that inhibits the mutant gene. Although this drug can inhibit the mutant gene, once the mutant gene in your body is activated, it will be out of control, and even your whole person may die from being unable to control ability. God, what should I do? Caitlin was a little anxious. Vice, you must have a solution, right? The more sensible Lauren also looked at him anxiously. Don't worry too much, Mr. Strucker, the mutant gene in your body has not been activated yet. After you arrive at the Mutant Academy, Professor X will solve this trouble for you. Levi said this to reassure him that they could go to Mutant Academy, otherwise no one could save them. Hearing what he said, the Reed family was relieved a lot. It was getting late. Levi's went back to the room and checked the system panel. Host, Levi's, super ability, vector operation, space movement, freezing control, fire control, energy absorption, electromagnetic force, evolution, mind control, super ability level, 
LV.3, level 3 mutant, experience value, 1700. Now he has as many as 8 super abilities, and each super ability is very powerful, and he only needs to sign in 3 more times to upgrade to LV4. The 4th level mutant is already a very powerful existence in this world, not to mention the 4th level mutant with many super abilities like Levi's. At that time, he will have a real right to speak in this dangerous Marvel world. Without thinking too much, Levi's just lay down and rested. Dot. In the next few days, Levi's checked in Reva and Rebecca respectively, and obtained two powerful abilities, Super Infrasound and Space Reversal. The power of these two abilities is beyond doubt. Super Infrasound can release Infrasound attacks, ordinary humans shrouded in Infrasounds will faint, and even mutants cannot use ability at all. And the ability of Space Reversal is even more perverted, because the general means of strike at the space level cannot be defended at all. Having obtained these two powerful super abilities, he was not too happy because the real happiness is still to come. Just need to successfully sign in again, then he can become a fourth level mutant. And this time the sign in target, Levi's chose Reed Strucker. From the original book, he knew that Reed's ability was very strong, and he remembered that in the plot, when Reed's X gene could not be suppressed, his hands turned red. No matter what he touches, it will collapse instantly. This collapse is more like destroying the molecular structure, causing the object to collapse instantly. That's why he put the sign in target on the other side. Yo. Is Mr. Strucker still used to it these days? In the living room, Levi's found Reed in front of the table. Oh. Not bad. Reed shrugged while drinking red wine. After getting along for the past few days, the Reed family has become familiar with everyone, and they are still very grateful to Levi's. He he, that's fine. Levi's smiled and checked Reed. Ding. Did the host check in on mutant Reed Strucker? Sign me in. Ding. The sign in is successful. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the super ability Atomic Collapse with 100 experience points. Ding. Congratulations to the host for successfully upgrading the super ability level. The current super ability level is, LV4, 4th level mutant. Levi's was a little shocked by the sound of two prompts. Unexpectedly, I signed the super ability of Atomic Collapse. The Strucker twins have the ability to manipulate molecules, and Reed, their father, should also have the ability to manipulate molecules. And Reed can make the molecular structure collapse and disintegrate, which is equivalent to the Atomic Collapse. I see. Thinking of this, Levi's was a little excited. The ability of Atomic Collapse is very powerful. I remember that Academy City has Atomic Collapse called Shiri Mugino, and she can easily release the Atomic Collapse beam. But all objects hit by the beam will collapse instantly. Its destructive power is even higher than that of the railgun, but it is ranked below the railgun because it is difficult to control. Dot. Chapter 25 Promoted to the 4th Level Mutant, was seen by Lorna. At the same time, after the super ability level was upgraded to LV4, Levi's only felt that his whole body was hot, and his super ability was evolving. After saying hello to Reed, he quickly returned to the room. At the moment, he was already wet with sweat, and the muscles in his whole body became stronger because of the super ability of evolution. The body, which originally took several days to evolve, also quickly completed the evolution with the improvement of the super ability level. An hour later, Levi's came out of the bathroom. At the moment, he was so different from who he was before. I saw that his whole person's energy and energy became very full and it seemed that people's eyes lit up. At the same time, the muscles of the whole body have become extremely perfect, and the streamlined muscles look very beautiful. At the moment, he can only use two words to describe him, and that is perfection. If you are seen by some women, you will definitely not help screaming. Just like this. Yeah Tilda. Levi's, who was admiring herself in front of the mirror, didn't expect the door to be opened suddenly. Miss Polaris couldn't help screaming when she saw Levi's. Hey, Levi's was shocked, but Polaris came in without knocking on the door. He just took a shower and didn't get dressed. He even used the space move, and in a split second, he ducked into the bathroom and closed the door. What happened? At this time, everyone was attracted by the screams of Polaris. Cough cough tilde it's nothing. I'm just a little surprised that Vice is not in the room. Polaris smiled calmly and shrugged, indicating that nothing happened. Everyone was a little puzzled, and Clarice looked into the room, but she didn't see Levi's, so she believed her words. When the crowd dispersed, Polaris quickly entered the room and locked the door. After Levi's changed his clothes and went to the living room, the corners of his mouth twitched when he saw Polaris who still hadn't left. I didn't expect to be seen by accident. It stands to reason that the five senses of the body that he has just evolved will become incomparably sharp, but it is true, his whole body has become stronger in the evolution. It's just that he was completely immersed in self-appreciation at the time. But then again, as expected, boys must protect themselves when they are outside. What should I do if I've been seen by Polaris now? I can't see it back after all. That. A good figure. Polaris looked at him hotly and praised for it. The way Levi's looked at Polaris only felt a little creepy, as if he was going to be eaten. He coughed dryly and said, cough tilde that I suddenly remember that I have something to look for Thunderbird. However, 
Polaris suddenly stopped in front of him. I can't wait. I love you. As he said that, Polaris rushed towards him. Hey, Lorna, calm down Tilda. Levi's was shocked, not expecting Polaris to come true. At a critical moment, he left the room by moving in one space. Who Tilda, looking back at the room, Levi's breathed a sigh of relief. He didn't expect Polaris to be so bold and unrestrained that he would push him back in broad daylight. It's all my fault for my damn face and figure, even Miss Polaris can't hold it. Thinking of this, he couldn't help but feel a little proud. Huh? Where did you go, Vice? Claris happened to see him at this moment. Just now Polaris said that he was not in the room, she was a little curious, but she didn't expect to be here after searching for a long time. Oh. Just wandering around. Claris walks us out for a walk. Levi's is in a good mood so I plan to go out for a walk. Yeah. Claris readily agreed. The two left mutants underground headquarters while chatting. In his spare time, Levi's looked at his system panel. Host, Levi's. Super ability, vector operation, space movement, freeze control, fire control, energy absorption, electromagnetic force, evolution, telepathy, super infrasound, space reversal, atomic collapse, super ability level. LV.4, Level 4 Mutant, Experience Value, 10,000 0. After the level was raised to LV4, the experience value required to upgrade to the 5th level mutant directly double tenfold. That is to say, if he gets 100 experience points according to the success of the sign-in, then he only needs to sign in 100 people to be promoted to LV5. If he signs in once a day, that means it only takes 3 months for him to upgrade to LV5. Thinking of this, he was in a good mood. After strolling around with Claris, the two returned to the underground headquarters of Mutant. Polaris felt a little uncomfortable seeing the two coming back together. But since Claris was her good sister, she couldn't say anything. The next day, Levi's got up early in the morning and his goal today was to sign on the Strucker twins. After all, Storm will soon arrange for someone to take the Strucker family away, and if you want to sign in, you need to go back. Hey, Lauren. When Levi's found Lauren, she was teaching her brother Andrew how to control ability. At the moment Andrew is looking at a bottle of coke intently. His purpose is to let the coke in the bottle flow into the glass. Lauren has done it once before. With the ability to control molecules, she can easily do it. Vice. Lauren's eyes lit up when she saw Levi's approaching. She was so handsome. She had never seen such a handsome man before. Although I knew he was handsome before, but today he is too dazzling. Are you practicing ability? Levi's came to Lauren and laughed. Blonde Lauren is a standard western beauty. At the age of 16, she already has a very hot figure. It can be said that her appearance is at its peak. Well, I'm teaching Andrew to contact manipulators. Lauren nodded with a smile. You can see he's working hard. Levi's smiled and then checked in directly to Lauren. Dot. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this. And join my Patreon if you want to support me. Link is in the description. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook. I will be happy to create them for you. Please like share, and leave a comment on the video.